Rätsel. I hope y'all not mad. <laughs> I hope we're not mad. I I honestly ask that you do not come up in here upset. Maddie, I'm so ram ram. Leave that somewhere else. I was okay with the decision that was made this week. So if you came here looking for a rage post about New York, New York, it's a hell of a, it's not happening. It's not happening. I will agree. I will agree that there is inconsistencies that when it comes to, oh, okay, so it mattered then, but it, 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 it didn't matter then, but it matters now. That I can receive from y'all, but the way it's being displaced currently on the internet is a tad bit ridiculous. Like, girl, that lady wore her out, wore her low, and it got mad sloppy at the end. No shade to the both of them. Baby, after that dip, it was it was over for me. I was like, we could wrap the song up there because it went into what's happening, <laughs> what's going on. But clearly, it's for the first time. For the first time, I guess they're actually going off of you know the lip sync person being the better lip synker versus saying, oh well, you know this baby has this amount of wins, so we can't we can't let her go on further. These are the days I prayed for during season six when I still believe, and I love my Libra sister, I still believe Trinity ate her up. Yep. I still believe that happened and should have stayed long. I've watched Abby OMG make it to a finale through lip syncs. So by all means, no, I'm not going to be up in here today going, guess what, girls? I'm sick of it. No, I will say there is some inconsistencies. True, true. But um, my little Rudy Huxtable, my Iman LePage, Rudy Huxtable from Heathcliff and Claire ate that girl live down. And I was like, oh, okay. But I also will say, where was this a couple of weeks ago? There also was never this much energy for another person on season 10, but we'll, we'll get there. Either way, I'm glad we got design challenges. I love how people are now complaining about this, even though we were asking for more design challenges. Like we talk about in the panel, drag queens doing drag queen things. Not everybody is a seamstress or a sewer, but you should have some sort of clear point of view on what you're going to make. I also found it interesting how they highlighted something that normally wouldn't get that much playtime with someone getting assistance from an outfit. But then whenever we got to another point of view, it was very, we like this, however, and I said, this is getting strange. <laughs> it's getting strange only because we're used to them saying something and then us will get on the line and go, oh, okay, well, if that's how they're feeling, let's just get used to it. Then they flip the rule and you're like, now, just a couple of weeks ago, we had this kind of ow. But there it is. Now, there was a writer strike happening. I, I am aware of this. So that may possibly, uh, you know, led into this, you know, having these sewing challenges. I'm okay with it. I want more design challenges. There's also a lot of seamstresses this season. So it makes sense to have a lot of them. But we'll get to this episode. Y'all are going to be gagged because there's really not that much to talk about this week. It's very cut and paste. Some of the drama, some of the light work, I want to sort of get into people uh, where their role is now on this show, whether they were once the heroes, now the villains, the villains, now the heroes, uh, civilians, whatever you want to put with it. I know I'm not hearing my child meow me down and he knows I'm working. Mamu, Mamu, do you hear me working, sweet pea? What's up, baby? What's up? I just fed you. Okay, hold on. My kids have been acting up a little extra lately. Uh, I have barely any sleep as it is. I'm only getting four to six hours right now because they will not allow me to sleep. So please forgive me. Uh, but that was Mamu addressing me. Are you trying to get Mina? Is she hiding from you? 
Let's, I'm going to assume that. Okay. Listen. <laughs> oh, yeah. he's. They're getting louder and stronger. <laughs> they're getting louder and stronger. My cats, I swear to God. I think they're getting it for me because I talk so much. So listen, let's get my social medias out the way. Let's get into this episode. 156 of you here already. Hit the thumbs up button if you could for me, please. And make sure you get in the comment section because the algorithm does matter. If you're having issues with seeing any notifications for this, make sure that you bookmark my main channel's page with youtube.com forward slash rants. And that way you'll be able to click on those bookmarks, whether you're on Safari, Chrome, or Mozilla Firefox for those of you still use that um it'll make sure you will of course always know when i go live and especially when i set these lives up on the main page you'll normally see oh maddie's going live in a few hours let me go ahead and set this queue for to wait for this or whatever the case may be so make sure you do that uh also if you want to find me on my other social media spaces and places like i said on the main page there's a link tree link available for your consumption grab a branch and eat some fruit mativia poot get yourself on over there also there's merch available at drackremerch.com that link is also up there bookable on cameo i fulfilled a a request. I hope my advice was great. Uh, I gave a good, was it seven minutes? I mean, I started going in. We we had a lot to talk about through that cameo. Baby needed some extra time. So I was like, you know what? Let me start to talk to this. I, I didn't know who you were, but I knew your new journey is going to be amazing. And I'm excited for you. But like all those insecurities you may have right now are just fine, sweetie. Just learn that it's this too shall pass and you'll get over those hurdles. So if you want to book me for some cameos, I am available for your request. Also, I do reactions on Patreon for as low as $1 a month. You can catch over 400 plus videos. I already have this episode uploaded currently now for your consumption. And I also have UK versus the world season two's most recent episode. We will talk about UK versus the world two on Monday. And of course, Sunday is the panel. Uh, again, hit that thumbs up button and get into the comment section, please. And thank you. If you want to drop a little tippy poo in my jar, uh, you can hear my babies in the background clearly giving me the business. I also have a trip coming up. I need extra help on, and I'm not too ashamed to say that, especially with bills these days, as I'm trying to take my first vacation over three years in April. So paypal.me forward slash my rants, cash up, Del Simon rants, Venmo Manage rants, anything and everything is super appreciated. And I'm really thankful for those of you who throw tips. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. The thumbs up button is available. And so is the comment section. Mamu, hold on, y'all. I haven't even eaten today. You've eaten more than I've eaten today. Hold on a second. Oh, my goodness. Buddy. Buddy, what's the matter? What's the matter? Come here. What's going on? Mina is asleep. You're the one that's up and at him. What's going on? What's happening? You okay? Okay, come on, Bubby. Here, lay right over here. What's wrong? You want to go back outside? I know. Can you let me just talk for two hours, please? I know I'm lying when I say two hours. Can I just have two hours, please? I will open the patio back up for you. I promise. I know you love going outside now, but give give Pop Pop a second. You already get half the day and I leave my damn patio open. Okay, I love you. I love you. Kissy, kissy. Oh, I kiss you. Okay. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> That's my baby. My little mamu. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so quickly before we go further with this, yes, I'm taking a vacation after three flipping years. I really needed this time. I honestly, some of y'all have seen a little bit of my burnout, just a tad bit. Uh, it will be the fourth through the eighth. So there will, of course, I think UK versus the world will be be wrapping by then or already finished. I know Espana All-Stars will be done by that time, but season 16 will still be going. That weekend, there will be no panel. There will be no video. Maddie is taking a break. I really need this, okay? I've already bought my flight. I've already paid for the Airbnb with my group. I've already mapped out the places that we need to go. I still got to put my deposit down on the van rental because we are drinking this trip. Nobody is driving. We will have a driver with a van, we're everybody needs a vacation on my group. We're all like, everyone's tired and we're all over it. So we're kind of like, this is going to be us just having fun. Fuck it, whatever. Let's do it. So that got to do, we're doing a boat ride too. I got to pay for, um, and then we're also going to go to 
Palace Bar, the one in Miami that everyone talks about for drag, those shows that are outdoors and stuff like that. I'm very excited. I got to get that show fee money too. So very much need the tan. I need the vitamin D. Uh, any and all tips are going to go directly towards that because I'm going to be eating. I'm going to be getting my life. I'm telling you, I've been no bread, no ganja, and no juice, sugar, rice, pasta for the past. Where we're on, we're on tw day 20 something now. <gasps> and we have about 30 more days to go. So I'm almost done with my cleanse and my fast. But I'm also like, my God, I cannot wait to eat bread. Y'all don't even understand. I cannot wait to eat bread. <laughs> I cannot wait. I, it's been a great little cleanse for me, but yes. All right, let's start this review up. Thank you for the patience and the tuning in. Again, Tippy Poos, please and thank you for PayPal.me for social rants, catch up to Simon Rants, been Menace Rants. I know people be talking about me online, and I know that a lot of y'all may see some stuff about me. I will in the future be a lot better with not giving that any attention, as well as standing my ground with please tip. Thank you, and I appreciate that. But other than that, I love y'all down. I know people don't like me. It's cool, whatever. That's the world. We're moving on, right? Okay, great. <laughs> Just want to get that out the way. And with that being said, too, because you know I'm going to talk some shit today. Disclaimer. This program is for entertainment purposes only and content signs tend to align any religion, race, gender, company, individual, or wigs. All opinions are specified by matter and program participants are so the personal views and do not reflect the opinions of every human being on the planet. No hate should be sent to any of the shows or individuals mentioned on this program, so please don't be rude about it. Grab your libations and strap in because Maddie is a talker and you may be here for a while. I hear you, love. And you may be here for a while. Um, oh, he, oh, he, he, he's about to get me up. <laughs> Please do not post any spoilers in the chat. If you feel uncomfortable after viewing this program, consume some activity and have yourself a good poot. All right, great. Mamu is really going to be driving me this week. I already know it. India, thank you so much for the tippy poo on Venmo. Tip for the trip. Thank you. That's This is literally the show fee you just sent me for Palace Bar, which I've never seen a show fee like that before in my life. But I'm like, oh, because there's going to be a lot of people performing. Got it. I uh, hope you have a glorious time. You have earned and deserved it. Thank you so much, India. And I really do appreciate that. I, I'm just excited to come back a completely different tone. <laughs> I will be, my tan game is about to be nasty because I will be in the sun all day. Speaking of which, if anybody has any tips and tricks for protecting my hair, 3C specifically, um, and my skin, because I do have a vitamin D deficiency. And so my doctor is kind of happy I'm going to Miami, but they're like, Matt, be careful you don't burn. I love to hear some trips uh, or tips on tanning while I'm not burning, because I am light skin, fluorescent beige gorgeous over here. And yes, I do burn. I know. Thank you, Mamu. I be hey. You want to sit in my lap? I got my short shorts on. I'll put a blanket on because you're not scratching my legs up. I got to show the boys in a couple weeks. The men's is, is, is yes. All right. Thank you. All right, let's continue on. Let's start the show, kids. It's really not that much to talk about. I mean, honestly, okay, <laughs> that's a lie. <laughs> I am seeing a wave of difference between everybody that's on the show where there seems to be some vulnerability or at least no one is untouchable if that makes sense. This is why I'm enjoying the season. I don't care for some of the antics that happen when decisions are made that have no justification. Yes. There are there are also times where it's like, okay, this baby's not getting the same amount of energy as this one. That's annoying. I can honestly say that is the case for every season where that is going to happen to at least one person, right? So for me, I'm enjoying this because if I go down the line of everybody who's left on the show, I can tell you their pros and cons. It's not just cons. It's it, There's pros and cons. Now, you may feel differently based off of an individual that you may not like on the season. Mamu Chan Rants and my government last name. You need to stop right now, buddy. Yes, I'm calling you out. Come here right now. Come here right now. Mina is looking at you crazy. That is something. She's the one that keeps us up at night. You try to go to sleep with me. Right now, I am working, young man. I had to get off camera to do this. Hi. You want to lay in my lap real quick? Hold on, y'all. I got to bring him in my lap. He needs some attention. Excuse me. Just one second. Come here, brother. Come here, brother. I know. I know. I'm looking at you. You're like, oh.
I know. I know. I know. I know, I know, I know. Okay. All right, let's lay down here for just a second with Pop. Let's do that, okay? You gonna be all right? Okay, yes, get comfortable. I feel you getting comfortable. Get real comfortable. All right, my bad, y'all. Sorry. Um, let's continue here. I think everybody has sort of like their place in space right now. I do think some people's time is running. I do think some people's time could change overall, but I'm invested in this program. So it's going to be real hard for me to read something and it's going to take me out of where it's at. Also, I tipped my Iman LePage today. That lip sync made me coin tot her. I was e immediately, I sent her money. I was like, okay, no, this is what I would throw my coin at if I was in the club. That kind of performance right there, especially when she did the duck walk, duck walk, tippy toe, tippy toe, spin, spin, cat, cat. I was like, oh, excuse you. How dare you? <laughs> if they're if they're giving, honey, I'm a tip a doll, all right? Here we go. Natasha, thank you so much for the super chat uh, for the trip. Bread fun. <laughs> no, bread fun. Love you, Tom. Thank you so very much. Sourdough is king. <laughs> Ashraf, thank you for the tippy poo. Thankful to be tuning in today. Got rejected for my, oh, for my dream job and feeling crushed. I'm sorry. Really needs this pick me up. Appreciate you, Maddie, in the pack. I'm so sorry. Y'all send Ashraf some love here. I am so sorry to hear that. It, that just means that that wasn't, listen, if that was the dream job, we all can have some new dreams, but there probably is a bigger and better dream waiting out there for you, baby. So don't let that crush you. You got this, okay? Thank you so much for the super chat, but you got this, bub. You got this, bub. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, 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 do, let's do this today. Now, hold on here. Now you sitting right here, you fine. I don't uh 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 uh. No, tell these people what's going on. Tell them what's on your mind, mom. <laughs> tell them what's on your mind, son. <laughs> Silly. All right, I'm gonna let you go, but you need to calm down, okay? Please, please. I'm gonna let you outside. I promise you. I know you like your the stray cat. That stray cat came by today and they finally had a full conversation outside without nothing crazy happening. And I'm like, I am not adopting another cat. So y'all can fucking forget it. Thank you. Two is enough. I, I, I should have stopped at one low key, but Mina is my world. So <laughs> anywho, tsunami is gone and the room temperature is, is a little bit sad because everybody missed tsunami. She was honestly... Um, she was that good temperature of water. You know, when you get in the hot tub, it's been a really bad day and you step in and you're like, oh, this is perfect. And it gets you real calm. That was tsunami for me when I was watching the show. Yes, she had a, a, a very safe run when it came to critiques and criticism. But whenever she was in the room, that temperature, if it was either hot or cold, would get back to even again. That is missing from currently what's happening right now on this season. Uh, it's okay though. I love her down, but uh, to me, morphine gave a little bit more and that's why she stayed. I know she was feeling kind of bad about it, but I said, sweetie, I mean, you did what needed to be done. Let's move into the next day, please, if we will. RuPaul, this suit is fabulous. I love this color. I really love this color on you, Ruzi. I kind of want it myself. It's a cute color. But they're given a mini challenge that I thought was disgusting. I'm just going to keep it there. That was gross. Really? I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> I thought this was so gross. You, you get these babies into comedy quick drag to do spit takes. You brought these fine gentlemen in this room, one who doesn't talk at all, and the other who has a degree that we wouldn't know until they told us, which they did. God bless them. And they had these gentlemen sit here in underwear and raincoats and get spat on. That is a lot to take in. I need you to understand this. This is disgusting. I, I would be asking so many questions. Number one, are we changing the glass of water each time because you just cleaning it with Dawn soap is not going to give me the all good feels of spit flying in the air. Number two, how far away were they? Number three, they wouldn't be far enough, no matter how far number two is. Number three, they're not going to be far enough. 
Q looks like she's about to be on the set of Napoleon Dynamite. Maya, run. Uh, Plasmanda? K. Nymphia, old. Morphied, woman. Dawn, ah! It's Safira. All right. But hey, I, I liked Half and Half. That was a good show. They do got shoes on. They do. They do. Plain looked looked a mess. I don't have her picture because I believe God is uh, watching me right now. And I want, want to get to heaven even with my gay ass. <sighs> this was gross. I'm sorry. If you enjoyed this, I'm here for you living for that. I couldn't take this. This was dumb for me. No way in God's green earth would I be here fully invested in someone spitting. I'm looking at Bruno like, baby... Mm -mm. COVID who what COVID <laughs> like there is only one time that that's going to be okay for me and it would not be in this situation <laughs> there is only one time this is going to be okay for me and it's not going to be in this situation not like this Mary the room will be dark. <laughs> the room will be dark. There will be music. <laughs> it will be consensual. <laughs> I will not be facing that person. You, do you hear me? We are wrapping this joke up now. But like, yeah, like, no. Mm, There's only one time it's going to be all right. Not like this. Girl. Okay. I don't want to shade. I am going to shade. I don't want to shade a little bit. I thought this was bullshit, if I'm going to be real with you, because they're judging this on the spit takes, right? That's, that's, that's the idea. But all of the jokes are RuPaul's to make. So when they're saying, okay, we're going to go off of this, well... Rue, you had the best joke for Nymphia. So. There were a few of these that felt more fountain in front of a displaced mall in an area that is more than likely going to have their Dillards run out of business first before the Macy's. But there's always going to be a uh, closing sale you know end end of end of you know business is running out go buy here now so for me i didn't mm -mm. for me i was like mm. do not want to take this away from nymphia glad they got some coin tatas glad that their spit take was amazing glad that no one caught anything or possibly uh, a sinus infection didn't follow anyone into the following day. You know what I'm saying? I don't know when this was filmed in conjunction to UK versus the world too, but wouldn't it be funny if RuPaul was on set this day after the spit take, went to UK versus the world sounding like the way they sounded like, and then didn't follow through the next day. Did you, is this contagion? Did a bat shit in Nymphia's like craft services food? And then all of a sudden they spit on Rue, who thought this was funny. And then Hachu, a 15 hour flight later, fuck my drag. What's happening? Why am I doing what Plain does before she says sister? Sister, 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 sis. I, please pay attention to Plain Jane more <laughs> because before she says something that's going to be laced in truth with a little bit of shade on top of it she will tuck an invisible hair she will rub her jaw she will go to her nose every time please i have some screenshots to prove it today that lady is i love her y'all i know you don't care for playing but i'm here for plain foolishness i am I am a little bit here for it. It's also nicer now because it's not so focused on one individual. There's room for everybody to get some truth. Uh, but I would also like to say that Dawn is low-key the actual apocalypse, okay? Just so we're clear. Like, as much as everyone wants to be like, you know, uh, hold on, I, I need to make sure I'm making this correct reference. Like, if if we're talking about it, Plain Jane is Sailor Mars. 
but Dawn is Sailor Saturn. Do you not understand? Like, yes, she's mean to she's mean to Asagi. She's a little tough on her. But Dawn is literally about to bring the destruction of Earth. <laughs> Dawn be like, <laughs> can we just be honest real quick? Like especially how she was to Nymphie in the beginning of the episode. That shit was funny. But also like, well, damn, girl, we were all shocked you were in the bottom. Like, no, look, like, hear us out. We gasped. We were like, oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm Nymphie. I'm, I'm, I'm D-Dragon, child. I'm trying to get my shit together. Like, oh, bitch, I survived the day. Here come Dawn. Hey, girl, we thought you were gone, bitch. We were like, there's no way. Like, couldn't believe it that you were safe. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. oh, oh, weak, weak, broken. Do you understand me? Broken, I am broken. <laughs> oh, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, sorry, I had to laugh a few times there. I just, I, I enjoyed this fuckery. I like the shit being stirred. I like what playing gave for the show as far as how it started. I know a lot of people were, weren't really into it. I spent every week trying to do the less, the best Libra thing I could do, which was break it down and make it even. It does feel a little bit different, yes, because Amanda is gone, and maybe because Jane feels like people who are more on her playing field, but I don't know. It, I can understand why folks were not into her, or may still not be into the plane of it all. I get it, but I'm like, eh, I need someone to be a little asshole right now, because I can't just do the fun, the niceness all day. Like, I think Safira being mother is perfect. Like there is that individual in the workroom who shows a given concern. Sometimes that concern can also be their detriment because it's like you want to help everybody and you don't really need to. Whereas you have someone on the opposite end of that plane who is definitely not going to help nobody. But there is in her shade, especially when she was talking to Plasma in the beginning where I was like, Plasma, I don't know if you received what she was saying, but she was kind of asking you, like, you do know the category is, is neo-goth. You do know that your normal stick is this. She was kind of giving her, like, what are you about to do? <laughs> oh, Joyce. Oh, 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 believe me. Trust me. When I, In my uh, reaction, I said she didn't want that smoke. <laughs> she knew how to approach that one a bit differently than everybody else because Safira wasn't going to let her run her over like that. That wasn't going to happen. And she didn't even when she uh, had the question. Okay, not the stock on the show. <laughs> uh, let's further get into this. Thanks for tuning in. It's your boy Maddie Rants. 259 of you here. Let's bring people in the room. Share this video. Get the views up. Help me, help me. I'm Tinkerbell. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm not, but like, yes, at the same. Well, we all are slowly. Ooh. Um, hit the like button, share, and subscribe to part of this rant pack family. Uh, if you want to drop it to be poo my jar because I'm a single father of two amazing fur babies and you want to help me on my Miami trip and maybe just to send me a little extra, a little, a little bit extra love. Uh, it's PayPal.me for special rants, catch up with all Simon Rants and Vimana Rants. Thanks for tuning in and being here today. All right. Let's get past this point, because again, like you know, with my uh, rants and reviews and my live reviews, like we fit in many points into multiple categories. We might talk about things ahead of time, but to me, the mini challenge felt like RuPaul. RuPaul was testing out her own material, and uh, the joke that she thought was the funniest was the one that won, and it was her own joke towards Nymphia versus the actual spit takes. I don't think the spit takes were actually vo were voted on. I don't think that was a real thing. I think that was just, let's do something silly and let's laugh, which is fine. I needed to show this because I had to see it. Dawn, this is scary. That one eyebrow being smaller than the other one, <laughs> it's like it's something about that. I'm sorry. This <laughs> it's the fact that she said she was gonna do her makeup like plasma. 
And that was the joke. And then this is the face. Whoa. Not not remember Amanda's makeup style, baby. Baby. Can I be Donnest? Whoa. This, this, this mug. My. Mm -mm. <laughs> Nymphia wins the me challenge. Go, Nymphia, go. RuPaul tells these babies they have a maxi challenge. Now. She said. Neo Goth. Morticia meets Mugler. Okay. They said Beetlejuice Balenciaga. All right. Elvira Saint Laurent. Eve Saint Laurent. All right. Okay. Okay. I heard it. I got it. I received it. They can only use the fabrics that are provided. Clear as day, okay? Only the fabrics that are provided. <laughs> these are the fabrics, okay? With these little ornaments they can use. They said take it to the runway. They said they don't want just goth. They want it to be neo-goth. Now, there was not a lot of goth on that runway. Am I the goth? Uh, ambassador, gatekeeper, absolutely not. The closest I got to goth was a uh, Daria days for me when I was obsessed with Daria and I ended up buying a pair of Doc Martens because of that show, as well as a leather jacket and was in the fucking seventh grade looking like, who am I? What is wrong with me? Like, what is this life that I'm going through today? But Daria Morgendorfer, that, that was the key to my existence. They're not even goth. Jane's not even goth. Trent is not goth, okay? Like, the goth that I know is, like, from fucking South Park. Death and despair, death and despair, that ringtone. Like, the, the difference between goth and the vamp kids kind of stuff. Like, they, them burning down a hot topic is my goth. That's for me, okay? <laughs> Lame conformist. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, okay. So, for me, I was like, all right. I don't think a lot of people are going to really pull in this category. I think it's more in line with the Balenciaga, the Mugler. Them wanting to take the base level of the blacks, of the grays, and the whites more so blacks and grays that go into sort of gothy looks or whatever. And they wanted something that was fashion. So for me, okay, I love the, oh, it's got, mm -mm, no, you told these bitches to take a bunch of black ass fabric and make a black ass outfit and give their black asses on this, there's only two of them, on that runway and do all of that. I didn't know why there was white in there. I agree with that, Bill Chan. I did, why is there white in this bitch? Unless they're doing something with the makeup to give you some sort of like, not the, I wouldn't say the clown posse because they're associated with gross things and I will not use them as a reference. However, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. I think a lot of people had a lot of different interpretations. I will just say that the the looks did look good, the majority of them. I'm also gonna say this, ooh, why am I saying that a lot? Oh my God, I did it again, no! Oh! <laughs> I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this a lot. Saying, cat, that's the word of the day, is saying. I thought it was going to be something else, but there we go. Um, oof. Okay. <laughs> I don't think there should have been a bottom three. I think there should have been a bottom two. I don't think morphine deserved a low placement this week. I don't think Morphine deserved a low placement this week. I don't. And I thought that was ridiculous a little bit, a lot. I'll be real with you. <laughs> I was like, why Why was she even down there to even be like that situation? That, that lady didn't even, like hot glued some of it, sewed a bit of it, didn't get help with it. I'm like, okay, that shouldn't have been at all in a low position. <laughs> 
just so we're fair. If we're going to really do this today, it should have been everybody was safe and high except for Maya and Plasma. Plasma had the worst look. Maya's was okay, but there was some help with it. And because they made a big deal out of it, deduct points. They haven't done that before in the past with people. But today, because a big deal was made out of it, deduct points. I don't think that Morphe needed that shot. As safe as they've been this entire season, I was like, mm. and we're already going into episode 10. That was ridiculous, in my opinion. I was like, no, just say those two and call it a day. That's it. <laughs> Anywho, let's continue on with this today. Sam Mature, thank you so much for the tippy poo on Cash App. Just sending you some love, my fellow Libra. Thank you, Sam Mature. That will go towards... Um, because I haven't eaten today and I'd forgot to go to the grocery store. <laughs> I woke up very late. My cats are really fucking with my sleep. I'm probably going to get something that's cheap that's not bready tonight. More than likely teriyaki madness. I'll go towards that. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. Uh, to be to be real, I would have gone for the hound's tooth, even though that's not gothy. But I love a hound's tooth moment. I would have wanted to have made a jacket. Oh, can I tell you my vision? Oh my God. I was, as I was watching the episode, I was thinking, what the fuck would I do with this? I love to hear some of y'all's takes in the comment section too. Let's hear them. Um, definitely for me. Okay. What Plasma did, I would have done way better. And, and I see where Plasma was going. Guess what, everybody? Plasma's vision wasn't bad. It just was executed terribly. That bathing suit, hound's tooth moment, wrong. That should have been the lining for a cutoff jacket situation ship. Okay. As a matter of fact, no, I have to do this now. I have, I have to do this now. I, I know it was, we're going early. I got to do this now because I have to show you where I was at with my fantasy. Okay. Oof, a mess. Ooh, a mess, a mess. All right. Those pants would have been much bigger. A nasty Jinko flare. For those of you who know Jinko jeans, follow with me here. A nasty flared out pant. A couple of holes and tears in that bitch. It would have looked distressed as fuck. It would have looked like it needed medication for how stressed that bitch was going to look. Do you hear me? The There would have been boots, not a disco shoe. It would have been boots. A big, like, I'm about to walk into school with a duffel bag and you're going to be upset. Question mark, question mark. Some Republican's going to make a really fuck up ass statement and be sued later. Ass boot. That kind of boot. They've made movies. A24 realness boot underneath the underneath them baby we would have gone there and i'm talking about with this jacket okay i like where she went with the strips but i would have taken that a little bit deeper the strips we either instead of white i would use hound's tooth or i would have actually had like something with the same material as the pants to be a cut off jacket and underneath it the lining would have been hound's tooth the lining would have been hound's tooth then instead of what looks like a young man's take on Richard Simmons for this top, I would have had, you know how those, those bodices those people make, there's no back to it, but it's just simply sculpted. Okay. Walk with me here. <laughs> I would have been looking for material because Dawn was using fishing line, which I thought was brilliant. I felt like she brought her own fishing line because I was like, okay, that's great. I would have tried to have found something to sculpt a shape for a woman's figure in the front and would have done it out of like sort of materials that I found like the skulls, but I would have broke up the skull. Okay. I would have broke up the pieces from the skulls and made something out of that. It's ambitious. Yes. But that's where my mind, when they said goth, I was like, I know exactly what I want to do. Yes. Like a breastplate. Exactly. But not like just to cut off here. It would have, hold on. I got to stand up. It would have gone all the way down and it would have cut right here. So all of this would have been just like open. All of this would have been open from the back. But there you go, cut off jacket, boom sleeves, houndstooth lining, big Jinko jeans, kick ass, kick in the door boots moment, boom. That would have been my look down. I would have I've been ready to go. Let me tell you something like, oh, I know what I would want to do. Let's go. <laughs> and if I had been in the room with Plasma in that moment, the way that Dawn shifted her direction, that would have been me going, okay, don't make a bathing suit out of that girl. Put that as lining because that's too much of this. That has to be almost like a, a small piece of the equation. It can't be a big story. To, you can't story tell with this. We have to do this a little bit differently. 
Because, mind you, I grew up like what? I graduated school in 05. So I was very much, I'm an 80s baby, went through the 90s and the early 2000s. Goth to me looks completely different to what goth is probably today. So I would have gone for a very essential look, in my opinion, of what I feel goth is. But I, of course, don't know goth, so I'm not going to claim that. But yeah, I, I fucking live for the olden days of the Jinko jeans, the flares, the full on. What's my age again? What's my age again? When that music was out, when Blink-182 was still a, a, an actual entity. You know what I mean? Like, And that's not even like goth music. Like before we found out more information about Marilyn Manson. Ugh. 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 Gross. Uh, <laughs> like that kind of century level of goth, I would I would say I'd go. The crow. Not this re this revamp of the crow, but like the original crow movie is where my mind would have taken me. Like, where am I gonna go with this? Oh, I'm thinking of movies like The Crow. I'm going there. That's the direction. Either way. I did like the category. I just felt like everybody did sort of like, okay, I'm gonna make a very beautiful gown that's goth inspired versus it being kind of goth. So I thought the, I thought that was pointless, but whatever. Nine Inch Nails, oh, corn. who remembers corn? Oh my God, I'm talking about my age, bitch. <laughs> who remembers corn? Oh my goodness, it's spelled with a K. <laughs> <laughs> Emo was, that was a big thing when I was definitely in my time frame. Emo was that girl. <sighs> All right, let's move forward here. Lincoln Park. Oh my God. Lincoln Park was, we we all listened to, black folks are like, we all listen to Lincoln Park, baby. That Jay-Z and Lincoln Park album was everything for me. I was such a fan. <laughs> uh, anywho, <laughs> continuing on with this. Everyone is getting their fabrics together. There is confidence in the room. What I love about this is that, uh, again, like I said before, there are multiple people, multiple people, that's Matthew, multiple people, the people's already a mult girl. <laughs> there is a multitude of girls who can sew or have a good eye for what looks good on them. That is why I want them to do three design challenges again for the fall, the next season. If I get on the show with my little capabilities and sewing, I want three. Make them create. Like, I love you, my, and I know it was a tough day for you, but bitch, this is the shit I live for. I want there to be a level of you got to think now. Not just you're given something, let's going to go from there and then let's follow through. No, bitch, I need you to think from the top to the bottom. What do you want to look like? How are you going to convey this? These are the fabrics. You can only do this. These are things you can bring. Let's go. That shit is so right for me. And I know Q was in her full fantasy. So was Donathan. Don and Q and Nymphia, in my opinion, were like, okay, this is what we do. Let's give it. Safira, I love how Safira in this moment's like, well, Q and Nymphia are, you know, obviously happy. And then we're over here. Bitch. Safira, you are a part of this equation of bad bitches too. You do know that, right? I I was so confused with Safira's confessional. I said they must have asked her to make some sort of statement like this because I'm over here like, sweetie, you made two outfits this week. Two. Two of them. You are a part of that equation. There is a multiple number. <laughs> okay, my dear Aunt Sally, we start with multiplication. <laughs> There's everybody's kind of a bad bitch over here, except for Maya. No shade, my sister. And you know I love you, Maya. I said, girl, what are we doing this week? What are we about to do this week, girl? What what, what is about to happen here? There there is a lot going on in the room. Okay. Again, I don't think Plain Jane was wrong for going to Plasma and saying, now you do know this is not what you're normally used to doing. This is not your category. You know what I mean? Like, this is not that. So you're going to have to be a bit different in your approach here. And Plasma said, I'm a multifaceted. So I said, okay.
But then I was like, Mama was already, she, oh, how do I word this? Plasma to me was playing the don't question me. I got this. And in her mind, I don't know what the fuck I'm about to do. Like, I don't know what I'm about to do. So, okay. All right. Tricky notes. I wanted to highlight this. Let's see here. I would love a design challenge where they pair queens up with past drag race girls who were designers. It will allow those with a good eye to have a chance, even if they don't have the skills. The only reason I don't want to do this is because that to me would be a waste of a really good idea for a show than to only be placed into one episode. And it, we, we, we get that for just that blip of time. That was, I made that same sort of gesture, but more so in reference to queens being able to work with baby queens or queens that are learning just how to sew or just how to do their makeup or just how to style a wig and it be done under a drag you umbrella of a competition level where no one goes home it's a point system at the end of say six episodes you crown a winner but at the end of it all the idea is these baby queens were given the tools under this public gaze from all of pun intended public gaze from all of us to learn drag and then possibly maybe compete on drag race, but also take it into their local scene and uh, with those tips and tricks to perform as well as do other things. That's just where my mind is at. That's what I think would be something that would make a lot more sense than some of the things I see some of the times on there, but it is what it is. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to knock them down. Cause you know, I, I love it all. I do, but I'm also like, well, I mean, if y'all really wanted to fuck it up, you could. And if you really wanted to go there, this is. And that's just where it's at. Either way. Um, I also think personally that Plasma should have just stayed in the direction she was going in. Oh, if I'll be real with you, why didn't she just do one of those dresses that looks like a giant t-shirt and then like completely fuck it all up and shit? And then just accessorize the hell out of it. Put a little ankle booty on there and come out on the main stage and give like pissed off daughter tease. I think that would have been, I really feel like she should have stayed with this fabric that she chose and just made it very, I, I would, I don't want to say, you know, oh God, what, I'm thinking of a character. Come on, Matt. What's my girl from my hero with the long sleeves? <laughs> Maybe not even my hero, but like a very long sleeve moment situation. You know, I don't know. Hmm. Ooh, a wig design challenge would be fun too. I'd be here for that. I think she opened the doors for criticism. Um, and she should have just went her own path. She should have just went down her own lane with this and didn't listen to nobody else. Because she had a good idea after, like, once everyone got, well, Plasma and Jane, really, got in that mind. But, yeah, you know, I feel I feel like she should have um, stayed the direction she was in. Because I was like, this fabric's cute. It's cute, but she just has to design around it, you know. I don't know. I felt bad for Plaz today. I felt bad for Plaz. Oh. Ooh, I felt worse for Maya. Let me tell you something, Rudy Huxtable. Ooh, I was scared for this girl this week. I said, if she, mm, <laughs> I don't know what's about to happen, but let's get there. Now, Safira, uh, has a, you know, I, I love the shade they're throwing at Safira a little bit. Are you going to do another opera gown? I said, y'all are not clocking how they try, they low key be throwing jabs at my sister over here. Is this gonna be another opera gown? I was like, that's her aesthetic. What are we talking about? <laughs> I mean, but also we're, we're doing goth, neo goth. So I, I get the take, but I'm like, what is everybody on today? Like, Nymphy was walking around fucking with people. Jane is asking questions. They're like, mm, okay, cue. 
Oh, cute. Okay, it's really funny how Safira mentioned you putting a bow on the back of your outfit. And then in your confessional, you said, oh, I'm not going to take any advice from Safira. And she's over there working on two dresses. But yet there was a gigantic ass bow on the back of your dress. Excuse me, on that coat. And this is not shade to Q. I'm just asking questions, girl, because it was like, oh, no, that confessional was like, bitch, why is she saying all that? Like, I'm going to take her advice. Mind you, that gigantic ass bow was actually something they gave you all the coots for on that runway. That was such a beautiful thing to do on the back of it. It was chef's kiss. I said, wow, isn't that what she said she was supposed to? I said, or were you already doing that? And that was how the confessional misled us in that direction. That's where my brain went. I said, maybe she, like, when they asked the question, it wasn't really for that. It was for something else. But then they placed it in that sort of order to make it seem like, I'm not taking her advice. But really, it wasn't that about that. I don't I don't know. I was just, I thought that was weird. I was like, why? Well, there it is. That's the bow. She just suggested you put on it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't. All right, we got some super chats. Thank you all so much. Appreciate y'all. I really, really like ser sincerely trust me because, bitch, we paid rent, but we were on the on the nose this week, honey. I'll tell you that I was on the nose, girl. I still got to pay uh, the internet and uh, cell phone, bitch. <laughs> I'm over here like, Lord, come on, tips, Fawzi. Thank you for the super chat. Me and my boyfriend joked about one day Drag Race will use a TikTok sound for lip sync. I die laughing when the song start. Fozzie, I was not, I was, I was not a fan of the TikTok song. I'm gonna be real with you. I was like, why not just use the original song? Oh, I hate, did I just do that? Oh, I hate that I just, I hate when people do that. But, but for real though, why, why? It's a good song. We had to use the TikTok version, but the sped up TikTok version. I was like, I guess. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Fozzie. Angie, thank you for the tippy poo, super chat, super chat, tippy poo. My brain's clicking out. Sorry, I'm late to the live. You're not. I just got my say. Oh, can you tell me how they are? I don't have enough money in my purse to pay for sacred. I will take it. Hey, for my birthday, though, that P.O. box, get ready. I will take sacred. <laughs> Oh, products delivered and had to look at them. I'm ready for you to read some of these fans acting crazy right now. I mean... It's a TV. We always say it's a TV show, and then everybody gets on the internet and starts to go crazy. Like, you only say it's a TV show when your favorite's not getting dragged, right? <laughs> Nine Tail Phoenix, thank you for the uh, super chat. I'm over Quarren as of late. I uh, listen, I, Q can talk her shit. Q is excellent at what they do. Maybe the way it's coming off doesn't really read as well for others, but I'm kind of like, well, bitch, I've seen the work mama gives. You can't dance to save your life. You have no rhythm. If we asked you to walk in a straight line, I don't think even that would be successful. However, if we give her a needle and thread and some fabric and say, be creative, we're going to get something. So there are, like I said before, there are pros and cons to everybody. You know what I mean? There, you know, talk about Maya if you want to, but if that girl's given a track, she will burn that stage alive. Not everybody on the show can say that right now, at this point in time. And there are some people that went home to me. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, stomach, I feel you already getting like, my stomach's getting like, okay, girl. And I'm like, no, no, we're not doing a long episode today. We'll be all right. Wash day is Wednesday. Mine is uh, normally Monday. Sometimes I switch it up a little bit, depending on if I did co-washes during the week. Bury that. Don't know why it was such an issue for Safira to help Maya. And mind you, you know, that's happened every season. I think for, if I'm going to be real with you. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. 
<sighs> I feel it's a little pointed uh, as far as Maya getting the help is concerned. I also think that the the frustration is from other people that went home sooner than people who they felt shouldn't have been there. And I think that a lot of people who are expressing themselves, and I'm not taking this away from you, but I want you to hear me when I say this. This is not a direct shot, but this is just how I'm feeling from what I saw the other day from an, uh, disagreement me and C. Diggy had. Yes. Uh, on the panel chat today, from all of it, I've pulled it together in my best Libra fashion. I feel that people are frustrated that girls that they like went home before girls they did. And so when they saw something happen to where maybe they weren't liking someone, but they started liking them a lot. And we get to this bitch has been the bottom this many times. This lady has not had to lip sync one time, has this track record, gets in the bottom with them. And, and gets destroyed mercilessly. Yet you saw on another episode where someone who had a very weird track record to someone whose storyline actually had a lot going for it where we could root for them, beat them, beat, say it again, beat her in a lip sync and she didn't get to stay. We can even argue some of Geneva's lip syncs she lost. And girls had to go home. I receive, I receive it. I really do. I also will say the first point is my point to their point where I negate all points to where y'all were mad when this girl didn't get the same treatment and now you're taking it out on her online and I don't like that. And that's where I stand on it. I receive it. You are correct. However, for me, I've been waiting for when does the lip sync assassin actually fucking count? Because we always get sick of girls beating people in lip syncs and then not receiving it. But today now we're mad about it. That's where I go, oh, okay, I can't jump on this train. I can't. I, I get you, but I can't. I wore her low. So I'm not questioning the decision that was made. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Say it's production. Say it's that. Just realize that with any reality TV competition show, including Traders, this past week pissed me off. I don't even want to watch the show anymore. There are going to be decisions that are made that are not going to be in our favor that will ask, that make us go, what the fuck? Why? And it's because the producers, it's because the queens, it's because the contestants, everybody there thinks that the out, whatever's filmed we're going to receive it in some kind of way. And it may be for good and it may be for worse, but they just assume we're going to receive it. They can't predict the future, but they're going to assume, right? That's it. That's all. Do I, am I mad Plasma went home? Absolutely. Do I think Plasma should have stayed longer? Oh, for sure. For sure. I was here for Plasma storyline. Do I think Maya wore her out? Low, bitch. To the, to the ground. Bury her. Buried. Was it still a messy lip sync at the end of the day? Oh, sh yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. But like all things could be true in this moment right now. Thank you for my TED talk. Let's move on. And that was Maddie being a Libra. <laughs> Right, John, look, look at this diet tell out this part right here. They, uh, there is a winner of Drag Race Italia with not one single fucking win. Not one. Just mini challenge wins. Whatever world we live in with Drag Race, reality doesn't exist. The limit does not exist. There we go. We need to do some Katie Heron math here. The limit does not exist. Jombers made it to top four. Cameron Michaels literally, liter lateral splits to top four. Abby OMG, like I said, like it is a possibility, but I also know that with us and how we watch this show, we go, this doesn't make any sense. And you're right, but it's reality TV. It's not supposed to. It's never supposed to make sense. It's literally just there to make us entertained, whether we're emotionally angry or emotionally happy about it. All I know is I'll be back next season. 
That's all I know. I see you, Sheen. I'm going to buy some clothes. I'm just waiting to get a little coin tot tot so I can spend no less, no more than $50 on three outfits, which for some reason I feel like I can do that on Sheen. <laughs> I already have some clothes I could wear here, but I needed to get at least two new outfits for dinner. And I will sheen it up. I don't give a fuck. I will I will be in my, this is only gonna last me two months clothes, okay? <laughs> I can't. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Become a part of this Rant Pack family. Um, become a part of the equation. Be a part of this group. If you want to hit that thumbs up button, do so. If you're hitting the thumbs down, why? In my Kelly Kapoor voice. <laughs> from the office, but why? <laughs> Get in the comment section afterwards, please. The homework, 100 comments, please. It really does matter. Also, if you want to drop a tippy poo in my jar, please, paypal.me for slash my rants, catch up with all my rants, and limo, many dash rants. Thanks to all for being here today. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the tippy poo so far. Let's go. All right. I almost could wrap my review up with my point and statement that I made earlier there with, okay, well, this is just how it is. And so we're done. Bye show. <laughs> People are asking questions, getting an idea for what each one wants to do. Um, you know, it's, 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 I love this in the workroom. This is fun for me is hearing everyone's ideas, people bouncing off of each other a little bit. You can tell folks are asking Q and sometimes coming to Dawn, you know, even Safira in these moments where it's like, okay, like if I did this, what would you do? You know, some people are doing that. Others got a little bit more help than others, but there it goes. You know what I mean? Um, oh, this is just Blair. I'm so glad you said this. A lot of people think this show is wrapping at a certain time. I even saw someone's post online. We only get this many weeks left of it. I'm like, oh, honey, reading how many weeks you have left, girl, there's about to be a few moments of, yeah, we still gonna be here. It's a little bit, little bit longer, just a little bit, a smidge longer. All right. Plasman, this is where you, you just don't know your opponent. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. They're not opponents, but you are. This is a reality TV show competition. That is the person you are competing against. Donesty came out of Dawn. And if I were to be Donest, I wouldn't have received this advice. This is the chance for you to do something different. Honey, she is not that girl to where she can go into her wheelhouse of creativity and make an outfit of a different brand, genre, decade, era. She is not that girl. That lady, full drag, lives in segregation time. Full drag. Her drag lives in big daddy times. Okay, that's a Golden Girls reference. My goodness. I... I to me, I said, as much as I feel Dawn is trying to be helpful in this moment, this is the opposite of that, where you've now, I don't even know how long they've been working on the, these looks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it feels like this is, at this point, it's been over an hour, maybe two hours into this three, if you will. And you tell this girl, hey, you know, this would be a really good time for you to flip it up on them. <sighs> Let, let's let's get into the fuckery. So Plasma's like, okay, I'm going to redo this outfit. I'm going to do it completely different. I'm going to change it up. Now, Charlie Brown and Lucy are over here. Okay? No, fuck that. Charlie Brown and Linus. There we go. That makes more sense. Charlie insecure. No, I'm playing. <laughs> but Q Brown and plain Linus. All right, are sitting over here. Q, you old messy punk. Let me tell you something, bitch. Girl, to plain of all people, you know, misery loves company. I'm, I'm fucking around. I, I love these bitches. But Q, full on thread doing her thing. Girl, looks like she's doing the same thing as you. Mm. Yeah, girl. She's doing the same thing as you. Oh, my. Ka, 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 ka. 
Jay, y'all saw how quick Jane got. Jane said, "Hold on, bitch, wait a minute." <laughs> oh, I said this is pure. You know it. I, oh, Q, let me find out that was one of your getbacks. Like, girl, I'm, I'm gonna fuck with her real quick. I'm gonna fuck with Jane real quick. She's doing what you're doing. <laughs> Oh, ooh, Irma, Re I receive it. I receive it. And this is why I said, what, not why I said, but this is one of these reasons, uh, one of the main reasons why I'm like, bitch, I wish I was there. Because when I tell you, I would have gave plasma the ammunition necessary to completely drag plain Jane. Bitch, you took my fabric last time, so why are you worried about what I'm doing? Well, you saw what happened last time. Well, since I'm the one now doing what you're doing, what's the issue? And in reality, they weren't doing the same thing as each other at all. So Q popped into something that had nothing to do with them. Very, very Caillou energy. Okay. Trying to get their little sister in trouble. They saw them fucking around, got mad because they, no, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm playing. Y'all know I'm, I am playing. I am, I am playing. This is all jokes and for fun. Please do not take me seriously now. I'm I'm so serious, but but for real though, Caillou's bitch ass over here. Plasma's doing what Jade is doing. I don't like that. I don't want to share. I, I'm I'm playing. Then she sent on over this little baby playing. So sister, what are you doing over here? Are you are you taking from my design? Plasma said, well, I haven't seen what you're doing. <laughs> this was funny to me. She said, well, I haven't seen what you're doing. You want to show me what you're doing? Plain Jane, well, no. So what was the point of all this? <laughs> this was dumb. This was dumb, dumb. But this was funny. I like these light little bullshit moments here. Baby, the way I, I'll give plasma this, she turned around and said, Well, I haven't actually seen what you're doing. Do you want to show me what you're doing? <laughs> but Jade's quick. Well, no. <laughs> so, what are you over here for? <laughs> oh, 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 that was weak. I was weak. Plasma, that was that was funny for me. Jane, it was it was the deadpan. No, like it was it was just the full bit of this. Like Q starting this bull. Actually, let's call it Q and Dawn. Y'all might be the most chaotic evil. Yeah, yeah, you might be the most chaotic. Look how Q pulled some bullshit. Made uh Jane over here look like oh shit, she's trying to copy me. Meanwhile, Dawn, Plasma, this would be a great time for you to change up your drag. They were dragging Plasma this week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They were not here for that Supreme Court decision. No, ma'am. They said, we're going to have to get this little rooty doot doot muffin out of here. Two wins? Fuck her. <laughs> Dawn, Q, and Jade were dragging Plasma this week. I am keeping that narrative. Not all the people of color were out of the, by their business, girl. Shut up. <laughs> Drag her. I can't. Oh, my cheeks hurt. Sorry. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's your boy, Betty Rance. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Become part of this Rant Pack family. Um, if you want to drop a little tippy poo in my jar, I appreciate it with paypal.me for a social rants. Catch up with Simon Rants and Vimana Rants. Shout out to... Uh, DW, appreciate you for the accuracy. I thank you for the tippy poo. I appreciate you, my brother. And thank y'all for so much for tuning in today. Okay, so furthermore, going into this with all of this good fun and all this good jazz and all that kind of crap, like 
we get past this. And Safira, being the mother that she is, needed to step in because they saw plasma getting inside of their brain, definitely getting a little too cerebral in the moment and losing stock of what they are doing in this competition. I loved this moment. It was super duper sweet. And you could definitely tell Safira cared. She cared so much that she didn't finish wiping off the lipstick on those lips because whatever they did for quick drag, I could tell. I'm looking at Safira's lips. I said, oh, girl, you was like, fuck it. I got things to do. We have a lot of work to do today. We got a lot of look. We got a lot of work to do today. <laughs> Told her to shake it off and get a little better. You know, it was all that kind of jazz, mind you. No one else was doing that. Safira so out here helping people get outfits together, trying to make sure people don't feel bad about themselves and how they're doing and all that kind of jazz. And others were, you know, putting the fear of God and. <laughs> <laughs> the queens and saying, oh, you might want to work on that lipstick. Hope you're listening to that music. Hope you're not in the bottom. It was the complete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I need that annoying girl back here. Like, again, some real love. You know, real love. It's super sweet. I love this. It's very nice. Very nice little moment. Um, God bless them. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear. I like to remind everybody that there have been multiple seasons we have watched where queens have dead ass helped everybody in the room pull outfits together. This is why I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be upset at assistance being given or done this week. Like, this has literally happened almost every fucking season. Almost. Okay. I just found it interesting how much it was shown this time around because I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what had happened when I'm I, like, I was there. <laughs> no, I'm going to tell you what had happened from my point of view while I was watching this go down. Plus online, they even confirmed like some things like Safira confirmed, like I did not sew this dress for her. I helped her put things together and like gave her a vision and then gave her a pattern to work with here. There was even the joke about her being a little bit bigger. So she was like, oh, I'm gonna have to like cinch this in. Like it was a little cat cack. But like, for those of you who are not aware of what this blue piece of whatever this is, that's a pattern, okay? And she was measuring it and trying to get it to the, like Maya size, because that's Safira's pattern. So Safira is a completely different entity than her. And that's what was literally happening. They were cutting it out. That's one piece of her help. Two, while we were watching this go down, there was a lot of, okay, I'm going to help you with the circles, but you got to put that together. You got to put this together. You got to do that, right? Okay, so she didn't sew the entire outfit for her. She gave her a lot of help, though. That I'm not going to take away. She gave her a lot of help, like a lot of assistance. Did not sew it for her, though. And- I can verify that because, again, I'm watching the episode. I'm not watching it with anger. I'm watching it from this point of view where you even see her on the sewing machine, sewing the dress. I will agree, though. If I'm in that room and I'm not getting no help and I see Rudy Huxtable over here getting some help, I am going to feel some kind of way. So I do not disagree with anyone going, that's bullshit. You are fine to feel that way. It has happened so many seasons. I have given up on the... Oh, well, now had baby girl won with that dress the fear had made, this would be a different hot topic for me. Also, Neko, this right here, Safira is secure in her abilities. I have no problem with her helping. I didn't even mind the first time other than Maya didn't admit she had help first time. That, that is where one of my points for Maya, where I would go, Okay, girl, when you got to the runway even, you almost said that you kind of did it all, but then you sort of switched it a little bit. So you gave a little bit more credit to Safira. But at the same time, it's like, eh, okay, it is what it is. I will give this a highlight because it's an opposite point of view and it should be received. I don't like the helping just for the competition element. It should be every queen for themselves. Okay, I receive that. I receive it. I receive it. Now, if I get on this show and I fuck up a zipper and I ask for help, 
Y'all can hold this energy for me. Maddie broke a zipper. He should have been screwed. If that's what you want to do. I'm going to tell you now, if I break something, if I have a question and I'm making an outfit, I'm going to ask somebody while I'm in a competition. They do not have to assist me. If they do, if you want to hold it against me, that's fine. I also would like to say, I also like to say, I did it again. Fuck. You're, you can't tell me that everybody in that room didn't ask for some sort of, what do you think of this? What do you think about that? So I think everyone got a help, got a help, got help in a way. Maybe not Q, maybe not Dawn, maybe, maybe if Nymphia, not so much. But there, we also saw people asking questions and people giving their opinions on it. That's a form of help in my opinion. Now, if you want to go to the extent of she cut that out, she did all that. Okay, we can get deeper. But as far as help goes, I think everybody did, in a sense, get a little bit of help with whether it was an opinion or whether it was simply helping them with their pattern. I think everyone got help. I am on my Libra shit today. Okay. <laughs> everybody got a little bit of help. It, it's the amount of help where we can have this argument, in my opinion. I'm in my, listen, I, I'm in a positive attitude today. I will not be shaken nor stirred. I am over here like, yes, work. I'm asking for tips. Knowing girls are calling me all evil things on the internet. I don't care. Subscribe to me.com, okay? <laughs> Shadow Shy, in past seasons, Anitra has helped someone put a thread into a sewing machine. Is that helping? Yep, it's help. So it's... It, it just goes off of how, and I, and I think you feel as a audience member watching this show on what you consider to be cool or not compared to everybody else. But I think that we all can have our own take on that and it not be a ridiculous thing. I just find it weird when folks don't receive another person's take on that because it's kind of like, well, both of that, both apply here like in this kind of situation it's a tv show you also don't want girls to walk out in the runway and look a fool unless you don't like them and maya's likable so you know safira loves her she's like i want my little baby to be all right she gonna help her it did look like maya though the way this edit went down and i'm glad y'all cleared it up on social media i have to stand up because uh my my watch is telling me to So we'll just have this picture up here since my, my watch is telling me to stand up. You know, I think it, it's it's a tough argument, but I get if you don't like it and I get if you're like, it's all right, it's not that big of a deal. To me, Maya wasn't going to have a better dress than Safira anyways, if I'm, be, if I'm being point blank honest with you, no matter how much Safira helped her because Rudy Huxtable did not have the vision already in her mind. She had like an idea and it really was based around that mermaid cut at the bottom. That's all it was. I knew she wasn't going to be in the top this week. So I thought to myself, as much as Safir is helping her, I guarantee she's not going to be safe. I guarantee it. The last time she helped her, she had a lip sync. So you're asking this person who helped you before make this outfit and you had a lip sync in it already. Do what you want to do. It's, 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 it's all you, baby. Do what you want to do. So as much as we're like, fuck all that and I hate all this, mama was doomed from the beginning. To be clear. Listen, and Malay <laughs> Malaysia is liking, so listen, I'm, I'm looking at Maya and Malaysia like something and I had to say Malaysia's name. Y'all bitches. Oh. <sighs> Well, yeah, because Maya's in ballroom. That's why when the girls are like, oh, she did all of that. Do, 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 do. No, baby. And it was done correctly. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, let me stop because I, I didn't know her uh, mother uh, wasn't. I said, wait a minute. Ebony. I said, oh, oh, she, she is in it. <laughs> Don't question her. <laughs> I think this was also for the people that don't like Maya right now, too, if I'm going to be real with you. I feel like Maya, this wasn't just for the contestants. You had a feeling. And you've used this picture today. I think you had an inkling. Splatoon. <laughs> About people who do not care for you, girl. And it was giving, if they don't like me, bow. Yeah, I think her mama is Katrina. 
Katrina Ebony? Yeah, girl. I was like, wait a minute. I said, oh, that's icon, legend. Oh, oh. I said, oh, she's in. Like, don't question her. That baby's a part of an actual household. And I, my former gay child was an Ebony. Like, what do we mean? Like, please. Back in the day, I used to have many of children. I only have a couple now. I only have a couple now. I have two gay sons and I have a, oh, excuse me. I have three sons, two gay sons and my trans son who I love down to death out there in the UK. That's my baby. And then I have two daughters. Mm -hmm. Very much. <laughs> but the, the, the daughters and the sons came before the peas of cake days. They've been my kids. And my tr my trans son out in the UK, that's in my piece of cake days. So yeah, yeah. But listen, you know, we all have our own little families. Hey, however you feel about them, I'm not going to highlight that. That's kind of nasty. But however you feel about them, that's how you feel about it. I, me and you are not going to argue about you feeling some way about a person. <laughs> so that's how you want to take it. If you want to voice in the live chat, that's fine, babe. I, I, I'll receive that. That's not for me. That could be for whoever's listening to that. Not for me. <laughs> See, now, baby girl's on this sewing machine. I, I saw it go, -ka 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 -ka. now, I don't know how far she went down here because they cut the scene a little bit, but there was a coo 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 Did I actually hit my stand-up mark? Can I sit down now? Can I sit down now, please? Can I sit down? Come on, Apple, let me know I can sit down. <laughs> There have been many people who have made it far in competition shows like Drag Race that we were very upset got far, but we're not producing the show. And if that's enough reason for you not to watch a show, whoa, because I'll be back for Trader Season 3, even though my favorite went home this Thursday. Oh, I want to stop watching it, but I got to finish it because my, Kate's, Kate's ah, I need Kate to win. I need Kate to win. I don't think she will, though. We'll see. Ridiculousness is still on, yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Gigi Good was on there, though. And here's the thing. Ridiculousness is a really bad show. It's it's honestly one of the laziest shows ever made, which is why, why a lot of people like it. But Chanel West Coast isn't there anymore, so it's at least palpable. It is a lot easier to consume. Because I'm not going to listen to that cosplaying as a black woman, dolphin laughing, bad built, big ass foreheaded, yonk face bitch. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Excuse me. I sneeze. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I've been doing such a good job not making this about race this entire episode, as my Reddit girls would say. But there I go. <laughs> I cannot stand her. I cannot stand her. I do not take her seriously as an entertainer or an entity or a person. I don't believe she exists. Went on Love and Hip Hop and got embarrassed. How does that work, girl? You thought Rob was going to get you in that door, sister? You thought all those people of color that you hung around were going to help you out, girl? You went on there and said, you're one of the babies. I'm a rapstress. I'm about this shit, girl. Got embarrassed. The same network that had Bobby Lights on a plat, you got embarrassed. 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 I'm so sorry. Let's get back to Drag Race. I do not like that lady. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, no. Mm-mm. 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 Sit me in a room with Trisha Paytas for seven days. I'd rather. I'd rather. Okay, I'm done. I'm I'm sorry. Let me let me let me sit down. My watch told my watch told. Look what happens when I stand up. I get a. I'll just stand up for the rest of this. Like I'm like I'm sitting at someone's office, going, "Why didn't you send the facts?" Okay, we're not doing this today. R.I.P. Big Black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Maya. I love you, boo. Girl, you tripping over here though? <laughs> I was morphine in this moment. Lady, we just sat there and watched you get full on government assistance with your outfit, okay? I watched the check rolling on the first, excuse me, the third, because the first was on a Sunday, so you got your money Tuesday. 
I'm right there. I, I, I listen. We can talk up. We could talk about Fuego James Charles as much as the rest of the re everybody else. But I was like, I'm with her on this one. I am with our non-binary sister on this one. Bitch, who? <laughs> Oh, bitch, hold on. Maya tried to drag her real quick and was like, girl, that lipstick you did was a chop. Did you catch Morphine look at Safira first? Please go back and watch that part. She looks at Safira like, like, bitch, I know you helped her with her motherfucker. Like, it was very, I know. And they look back at her like, bitch, okay, Miami Dade County hole, what's up? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I, no, listen, um, I think Maya's uh, from Dade County, sweetie. I don't know about morphine. I actually, I don't know where morphine live at. I'm about to be in Miami in 30 something days. Hey, Malaysia, if you're watching, girl, we're going to see each other. We already talked about it. But yeah, anywho, let's continue. This, this is when I knew Plasma was going to be in trouble this week. Mm -hmm. I also got concerned for morphine because I was like, oh, this is storyline. Uh, Morphine talks about them being non-binary and their journey in reference to dating with that and how they feel about themselves and the happiest they've ever been. Shout out to Morphine for also expressing a little bit of more of themselves. It's not just, what's the word I'm looking for here? A surface level, because Morphine has been sort of the narrator of the season and I've been waiting to get storytelling from Morphine. It took nine episodes. No shade, Morph. Hear me, girl. Go back and watch the season. We've talked about your ass for a long time. This is the first time we got into who is Morphine. I am so serious. It was always adjacent with other girls. Like when it came to other people's storylines, like Morphine would be a part of the conversation, but she was never like there. Like it wasn't like learn about me. So I'm happy. I'm like, oh. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Ash. You reminded me of the list with their parents, but they didn't know they'd do drag. How long ago was that? Was that the second or third episode? It was a long... It, can we say a long time ago? This show started in January, right? It was a while ago. So I think this is why I get frustrated when they kind of give you a little bit of somebody and then they're not the focus no more. And then you find out later what it's like, oh, okay. Like you're like, oh, Okay, because she's been sort of narrating everybody else's life <laughs> this season. But thank you for that, Ash, because I, I did miss that. Thank you. But correct, it was really early in the season. It's a lot. So, yeah, there we go. There we go. See, there we go. Oh, my goodness gracious. What? I think I just will stand up for the rest of this. It feels appropriate. Hey, 380 of you here. Hi. I'm going to lift my leg up. Someone send me a tippy-poo. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. Okay, I did it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put my leg up one more time. If y'all want to throw a tip in my jar, please, and thank you. Go night. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. If you want to drop a little love by way, it's PayPal to me for a with rants, catch up with all Simon rants, and Vimo, many best runs. I'm also a former gymnast. Yes, I can still stick my leg behind my head. In more ways than one. Boom. Uh, we thank you. The balance is not balancing like it used to. I will say that. She's getting up there. Ankles be ankling. Huh. So, hey. Oh, we got some super chats. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I completely misjudged Anthony where the chair was. And it was like right there. <laughs> like right there. All right. Drewski, did I highlight this? I'm sorry. Hey, Drewsk. Um, what I couldn't take was people saying it should have been a double shot. <laughs> Lies. In what world? So you were going to give someone a double shantay because they had two wins? Let's not, let's not do that. Let's not, let's not do that. <laughs> you cannot have your cake and eat it too, boo. Hold on. I want to lift this up. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to lift this up a little bit because now that I've chosen to stand for the rest of the episode, which is actually a lot better for my circulation. Okay, work. Yes, I had to lift this up just a little bit higher. I wanted to give this tease. Boom, boom, I'm one of one. Boom, boom, I'm number one. Boom, boom, boom. 
Don't even waste your time trying to compete with me. No one else in this world can think like me. Ow, I'm twisted. Boom. Uh, let me not do it because I do want to do Alien Superstar. Joe, thank you so much. What do you know? They made the outfit help a thing. You telling me Michelle just asked the question out of nowhere? I think not. Well, you already know that production be producing, and this is not to just dis be disrespectful, but I want to give you a, a good example of this. Um, for Espana, it's so apparent because they will take something that happened in the workroom that may not have even been necessary for a discussion on stage and make that a focal point. For example, the how did your group how did the groups work out, especially with you, Sagittaria, with Poopy and da, da da da. I know you were having a bad week, and it was like, why are we talking about that? So let's just focus on what happened here. That was actually their kind of shit. Now you're putting this into the evaluation process. But at the same time, Joe, I mean, it was a focal point for the girls who were all working on their outfits. It also gave a reason for Maya to be in the bottom, even though the outfit itself was okay. Bell Chan, thank you for the super chat. Shout out to my fellow in NBs out there. Okay, okay. Hold on, new word for Maddie. NBs out there, you're non-binary enough. Okay. I have never heard of NBs. I'm probably saying it wrong. Thank you, Bell Chan. Appreciate you, baby. Piece of Mateo. Come on, leg lift. That's right. That's right. Y'all, I'm a I'm a pull up. I don't see those uh super chats until next month. So beach. If you want to PayPal Cash App and Venmo me, please and thank you. And thank you for the super chats. I really appreciate them too. All right. Plasma. My heart goes to you never having been in a relationship before, not questioning if you're a virgin or not, because it's none of my goddamn business. But um the feeling of not knowing if you're desired or loved is a really hard one to receive and take. I know that from my own personal journey right now with being confused about dating after a traumatic event that happened that I will share eventually when I'm comfortable with y'all. But after a traumatic event that happened to me, it's been a little bit of a tough journey, my damn self, about finding my own self desirable. So like, I, I get this on whatever level that you're having right now. And I hope that you do feel you are not hideous nor ugly or not desirable because you're femme and you do drag and all that kind of stuff. I, I'm praying that's not your, that is not your jush and that you don't receive and hold that because you're still young, baby. You are still young. You have time in this world. Trust and believe. Trust and believe, honey. Okay. So I, I received that. When Plasma had those emotions, I've had my own therapist conversations about, I don't know if I can do this anymore. I've always wanted to be further in a relationship and in love, but I'm also like not trying to go through the things I've went through before and uh, the situation that happened to me that completely devastated me like to where I was like, I don't know if I could ever talk to anybody again. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. And for my own understanding, for me, I'm about just letting things be right now. This is really what I've been working on and praying on. Just let things be. What will happen will happen. Whatever happened before, don't take with you and do things differently this time. Say yes, even when you're like no, and say no when you really meant yes. And if someone calls you out on it when you're dating them, receive. Do not deflect and defend. You receive it. You receive it. Because if they like you, they're going to tell you about yourself. Like, and sometimes it's hard to hear that, especially in dating. You're like, I'm doing everything right. You're not. <laughs> We all can take it. So yeah, but love, love you, Plaz. And I hope you feel better. I, I hated hearing that, but it's it's a real thing. And it also is something that affects a lot of us in the queer community based off of how we've been treated uh, by our own, say, family members or even our classmates and friends that may not understand our journey. You know what I'm saying? It, it can really affect us this way. So all my love to you, Plasma. all my love. I was like, oh, my poor baby. But I get it. Oh, I get it. Listen, y'all talk about Q. She gonna talk back. Like, what do you think? <laughs> I'm so yeah. Karen, thank you for the tippy pool on Venmo. <laughs> Leg up hard. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate you. <laughs> Silly. Oh, okay. RuPaul, this looks so good. Shout out to 400 people in this live today. This looks so good, Ru. This is good. 
Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes, baby. Yes. Last week, no. The week before, no. This, bravo. That that's the kind of dress I like with Rue. Give me something. It the fabric looks incredible. It's beautifully coming together. I think the wig is great. The face is da done done. I am very much here for this. Michelle, you whore. I live for this. It, it's giving me a Nina Williams custom outfit, and you're about to get your ass whooped online. You will not get the promotion. Tekkenate, I will be playing later today if y'all want to play me online. Um, Carson, you got dressed today. I'm proud of you, bitch. Are those leather pants? Is that a jacket that doesn't look like you can zip it up in the front? Carson looks good today. I was like, oh my God. Like, I have been dreaming of the moments where they are not giving relaxed but loud on the panel. Who is Kaya Gerber? They were asking who Scarlett O'Hara was for the young children. Who is Kaya Gerber? And I made sure not to look her up on person uh, on purpose just so I could ask y'all today, who is this lady? And that's not to be rude. Who is she? Who is her parent? I feel like somebody's child. Nep, I, ah, uh, okay. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Fantastical. I literally just said, I feel like that's someone's child. And look at me. <laughs> Okay, okay. Cindy Crawford's daughter, bet. Okay, okay. Yeah, that, it, there we go. Okay. I was like, who is this girl? I don't know her. She's gorgeous, but like, I've never been influenced by her. She was, oh, oh she was in Bottoms. Oh my God. She was the hot girl that they were trying. Oh. Okay, well, she was great in Bottoms, though. Bottoms was a really good movie. As a bottom, I can speak for the movie itself. It has nothing to do with us big, voluptuous, pound town taking queens out there at all. But it really was a great movie. It was a good movie. I highly recommend watching it. Please. Please. I, pro I, I This is a Maddie. I crossed my heart and I swear you are going to laugh at least once in that movie. Isn't Marshawn, what's his name in there too? You're going to laugh at that. Oh, they were in America. I stopped watching American Horror Story after the two part one that I, I gave up on Ryan Murphy with that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't do American Horror Story anymore because I love myself. And I think that I should only put good things inside of me. <laughs> but yes, yeah, very much that. Okay, Kaya, my, my bad, baby girl. My respect to you. Uh, I don't follow models like that, so I wouldn't know if she's a top model one in the world. I stopped after Tyra and Naomi Campbell. Once we got, Kim, once Kendall Jenner, oh, excuse me, not Jenner, shout out to Kendall Jenner though. Once Kendall Jenner started walking the runway, I checked out. That's a little lot of stiff girls on this. On this I checked out. So she's been doing it for the past 10 years. Honey, that was, I, I let go of that. Chanel Iman, I think, was like the last time I, ga I gave all the fucks in the world when it came to supermodels. It, yeah. Yeah. But shout out to all the supermodels of today. See, the majority of them. Because I can't say all of them. I can say that for everything. Mm -hmm. No shade. Back to this, though. Let's focus. Um, I think that RuPaul looks incredible. Oh. Go, mm. Go ahead. I mean, homogenic, like, Diana Ross's daughter, Tracy Ellis Ross, was also considered a Nepo baby. And remember her first fashion show, fa fa fashion show, like, you know, I mean, if the children are beautiful... But they got to walk for me. But if the children are beautiful, like, I mean, what's the problem? <laughs> if they're talented, yes. If they're not talented, Maddie, she looks just like Cindy. Oh, let me get a close-up shot. I need to pull up Cindy Crawford real quick. Michelle looks really good this week. Her hairline is everything. <laughs> Her hairline is everything. That motherfucker is weak. Okay. 
Cindy Crawford is 58. She looks good. Mm-hmm. Yep, that is definitely her mama. Go ahead. I love a thick brow. I love, 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 love a thick brow. Even for my drag now, I have thick brows now. I'm I'm doing a thicker brow. I'm not doing a pencil thin brow. No shade to people do pencil thin brows. I just feel I look good when I'm doing my makeup and when I'm doing my regular, just my regular boy beat. A thick brow is always king. No shade to the thin brow girls out there. I just love caterpillars on people's faces. It's hot too. Like, oh, my goodness. Anywho. All right. Sucking in the middle of these troubles with your bitter howdy hoes. I hate the song. I'm not even doing the words right. This is what it sounds like to me. I hate the song so fucking much. Ugh, God, it doesn't it doesn't make them look hotter. It doesn't add to the element of them pumping the runway. It does nothing for them. They fucking hate it. Sorry. Up first is Plain Jane in the start of our second poll for the day. I will wrap up our first poll, which is thoughts on this week's episode. With the votes tallied together, 30% of you said still a fan, but I have questions. 26% of you said production is producing. 25% said perfect. And 17% of you said another design challenge. I want to give you all some coots on this. 403 votes and 412 people in this room right now. I love those numbers. I like the division. I think it's a good division for how we felt about this episode with those numbers that we got. So give yourselves a round of applause. I feel like that means that y'all are not out of the show. You're in the show. You just have questions. That is what's important. You could be like, it's perfect. Don't hate it, but be like, mm, we could have done that differently. <laughs> Let's talk about playing Jane though. Let's talk about planet, planet Jonathan. This is actually better standing up. Y'all don't understand. <laughs> it's easier for me to reach the keyboard right now. All right, you have three options. You already know what they are. Giving is the best one because if you're not giving, what are you doing? She's cute, meaning we could change some things on this. And of course, in honor of legendary, chops. Chops are available. If you don't like this shit, chop that bitch. Bip, 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 that girl. Bip, 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 that girl. I did a little Brie Runway there. My face looking like... Mm, 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 mm. Okay, uh, let's talk about it. While we're getting the votes and I already see 100 plus of them there, thank you so very much. Safe. It's safe. The face is... The mug is muggy. The muggy is wuggy. And this is the second time I've seen her do a small wig and it looked right. Okay. Um, personally, it's cool. I'm not mad about it. I It's an okay outfit. I can see this and I will take what Trixie and Lux were saying. Like, this is a cute bar outfit. It's not, it's not overly complicated. It's very, very safe. Very safe. I like what they put into it. It's a very nicely embellished top, panty, high boot. That's it. For real. It, it did what needed to be done. It wasn't overboard. It is okay. I'm putting it in she's cute. I would wear this to a club. I would never present this on a runway, but this is also a sewing challenge. So if this is what Jane could do in her wheelhouse, go there. I would argue with her though. Jane, no shade. Hear me, hear me, hear me, hear me. I'd argue plain. I wouldn't have been talking any kind of shit or saying anything about anybody's outfit and you're wearing that. Like, be thankful to be safe. You were up there with Don, Plasma, excuse me, not Plasma, whoop, 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 whoop. 
a lie. Dawn, Q, Nymphia, and Safira, for that matter, with when you had your little statement backstage with, oh, I was high too, and you wanted to do all this. No, 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 no. Baby girl had all good critiques. What are you talking about? So yeah, at, at that point in time, I was like, oh no, you you actually could have sat back there and ate your food and drank your juice and been quiet because you got very lucky today. Because had there not been a Maya and a Plasma, you more than likely would have been in the bottom situation. However, this was well done and I thought it was cool what you did with the chains and it still is an interesting outfit and I wouldn't mind seeing this performed in at a club somewhere. I thought it was nice. It's okay. It's okay. All right, let's wrap up the polls here. Everyone put your condoms on. Excuse me. Okay. We have 170 votes in this 71 in this piece. Let's go ahead and talk about the numbers. 74% of you all said, it's cute. She's cute. 18% of you chopped it. Fine. And 7% of you are giving. This is what it needed to be giving. Okay, okay. Now that we've moved past a little plain Jane, it's nothing about this is plain, by the way, but not the best of the best, but it's good. All right. <laughs> Next up is Maya Iman LePage. Maya, I hope you can forgive me. Every time I try to spell your name on Twitter, Elon Musk racist ass um, always tries to misspell it for me. And I promise you, I correct it. We'll go to post it and come back and it's the incorrect spelling. And I'm, it's been driving me crazy. I have tried four times with your name to do it's like my own spelling for it. Uh, uh They always correct me and I get really angry. All right. All right. So this is squat Morticia Adams. If, if Morticia Adams was a stoop or a stump for a tree, this would be it. All right. Let me tell you about, um, you know, Muppet Baby. Adam Family Babies were all T with a black cast. Uh, listen. No. I don't think this dress is terrible. I know a lot of people are chopping this right now. I think there was a vision, and I think this was executed fine because i think however it was put together did a fine job that is not a mermaid that bottom it looks like a bed skirt that's my problem with it you say a mermaid gown and you want to give that nice trumpet that nasty little flare at the bottom give you a tail tease that look like a bed skirt sister for a bed that has a lot of liquids that slip and slide off that bitch okay that don't look like no fucking like skirt trump not at all it looks like a bed sheet Chop. That's my first chop. Flat wig. Wrong. Mm -mm. There is nothing happening up here in the neck department. The flat wig. It looks like your head's leaning back like that. Nope. I think the sheer paneling on the side and the back is everything. That's my favorite part of this dress. It's pretty from the back. I agree with what they said in the pit stop. The hair is too long. So we get it from the side. I'm about to show my whole ass. Getting from the side right here. But when it turns from the back, it's like all this is covered. So we, this is fine. This ain't. It needed to be full on this. Like, like, oh. And that didn't happen. We have seen worse. If you're chopping it and saying it's the worst thing you've ever seen, I like to see your taste. But <laughs> this is not good, okay? This I'm not going to chop because there are parts of this I like. However, the skirt's a no. The wig should have been different. And the neckline, I absolutely agree on. My problem is when they gave her the critique for the neckline, I was like, Okay, she sewed the outfit, but like she wasn't a part of the, I mean, as far as the creative process goes, you're talking to someone who doesn't sew and you're telling them that they should have cut that out. That's a gag. That was a gag. I'm glad she got the critique, but I was like, baby, she would have to be a seamstress to know that her body, her chest is wide, wide and, and pushes. So she would need to cut this to give what she needs to do, but she's not a seamstress. So why would she know that? I guess for future sewing. I was like, okay. 
The only chop for me this week was was plasma. I'll be real with you. This was this wasn't good, but like I was like, eh, there's parts of this. I, if we just change some stuff up, I can be like, yes, I like this. It's not horrible. Plasmas was horrible, but like this just needed a bigger skirt, a better idea here, and different hair, and she'd have been okay, just like that. Like okay, it'd have been like ah, it's all right. This is under okay. Oop, there we go. It's under okay. You know, I also don't understand why there is a, like the skull on the wrist that you're kissing. Like I wouldn't the bird make more sense if it was on your wrist and you're the opposite of a Disney princess. That's just me. <laughs> That's just me. I'm like, so whose skull is that? <laughs> I didn't understand. I was like, okay, sure. So many ideas. Mm -hmm. All right, let's wrap up uh, Maya's. I might, I might, I might have to chop by it. <laughs> now that I'm talking about it out loud more, I might have to. I still want to say she's cute, but ah, I'll chop it. I will. I still say under okay, but I will chop for the sake of I brought too many negatives up. <laughs> okay, so 56% of y'all say she's cute. 38% of you are chopping it, and 4% of you are giving it. Where did my picture go? There we go. What the fuck? Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Become a part of this Rant Pack family. Y'all, I, I don't know if I'm going to do this for every review, but standing up right now is the key because my Apple Watch is telling me I'm on the right path for my standing and like moving around tees. It's there. Um, Sorry, I just I include this picture because it had her name and the other picture with her name on it. It was really a far shot that looked not good. So I was like, no, I'm going to include this and then put another picture up here. So let's get into Miss Donnie. Not to be mistaken with those Wahlbergs. Don, 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 Don. This was puss. This was puss. Donathan Jameson the third. This was puss. I'm walking away. Puss, like, girl, excuse me. First of all, I didn't know whether that was a chandelier or we were going to be giving bean bags to then throw into possibly cash prize pockets because of how that looked. You gave me an actual ride or an event at a Chuck E. Cheese in a very dark universe, bitch, walking around waiting for people to throw bags at you and then hand them pieces of pizza. It was good. It was good. I'm sorry. The construction of this was great, Donnie. This was good, 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 good. I love that you went back to the ear of the elf ears. I love how you did this headpiece. It was very interesting. And you know what? Here's the thing. She used black. She didn't put no white in there. Oh, call it that. No gray and no white. It is a black outfit. I like it. I have nothing to say. I like the change in the makeup. I like everything about this. It's one of my favorite looks that I've ever seen her do. It's, it's incredible. Creative as hell. Her and Nymphia, oh, no shade to I like Q's. Q's was fabulous. But like her and Nymphia for me felt really in line with that Morticia Adams darkness feel that they were implicating with, you know, this challenge of goth and the take on it. Like, to me, those were the two girls. So I was like, oh yeah. Like Cusick was amazing though, but I, I received it as a little different than the goth take on it. I, I received it more of like Terrifier, Tease meets, you know, the Crow energy was where I was going. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, hey y'all tuning in. 444 of you here, <gasps> make a wish. That's so cool, okay. Okay, I made my wish. Thank you for tuning in. 
hopefully it comes true. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you want to drop us a VPU in my jar, it's paypal.me forward slash money rants. Left leg up. Cash app, dollar sign, money rants. Right leg up. And Venmo, my dash rants. Both legs up. All right, cool. We did it. <laughs> Not going to die today. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're going to wrap Dawn's poll up with um, lambskin. That's what we're going to do. We're going to wrap it up with lambskin. Oh, my gosh. 67% of you are giving it. 29% of you are saying she's cute. And 3% of you chopped it. Dawn! If you don't win one challenge this season, I will be upset for you. But I also know that's normally a great storyline going into an all-star season. Very that. All right. Thank you. Dawn. Jazz, thank you so much for the super chat. I love jazz. Okay, let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it going. Let's keep doing what we do. Doing what we do. Pressing play. Who's next? Morphine, you did not deserve a low placement this week. I'm going to say it. I don't think Morphine deserved a low placement this week. No. Tell me what y'all think. Is it giving? Is she cute? Or is it a chop? I think it was cute. That they will never, ever, ever, ever touch her face. Do you understand me? Now, if there is one thing that you're never going to be able to clock with her, it is this mug. You did the gray skip. Thank you. Thank you. Morphine, you went down the chest. You even did it in the arms. Everything where the skin was going to be shown to where it would have taken us out of the illusion. You did. You did not deserve a low placement for that alone. The dress also, that that skirt looks cute. This is my only issue with the outfit is these little parts right here. It looks like they would make a funny sound. As a matter of fact, let me get one of the cat toys to tell you what sound it would be. Oh, mental note, Maddie, sh wash your sheets. The cats have been sleeping on your pillows. It feels this part of her outfit right here sounds like this. It looked like it sounded like this. That's my only issue. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Other than that, it's giving. I thought it was pretty. I thought it was a nice silhouette. I thought it was executed and done very well. I I was aghast. I was like, oh, oh, the, oh, okay. It's a low. Cool. <laughs> It do, because you see, it's it puckers just a little bit here. It puckers there, whatever. But, like, that was the only thing I didn't like. Everything else I thought was fabulous. I, I see where they were going with the designs. The points could have been a little bit sharper, yes. But for someone who did not get any assistance with their outfit, I would say bravo, uh, who is not comfortable on the sewing machine. But, you know, it is what it is. I need to get water. <laughs> Hold on a second, y'all. <laughs> Okay, sorry. We needed a we needed a little water, a little bit of water. Get your libations together. Mm -hmm. Let's wrap this poll up, though. Where are we at? Fifty percent of y'all saying it's giving. Forty percent, forty six percent of you said it's cute, and two percent of you chopped morphine. Love Dion. Work. Yeah, that morphine look good. Ooh. Woo. All right. If I were a boy, even just for a day, 
I roll out of bed when I want it and put on my Drink beer with the guys and chase after girls. Ah! I roll out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Can you hear him say, no, 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 no. This is not a yes, 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 yes. Oh, hell fucking no, no, no. Do you see this wig on your wide ass head? And I say, it's no, 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 no. House who bathing suit said, hell nah, 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 nah. Bitch, what is this necklace giving, giving, giving? What the fuck is wrong, 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 wrong? It looks like you need some vitamins. Ooh, <laughs> like it. I assume things aren't going good at home from looking at this outfit. I assume it's not a clean environment. Multiple ways to mean that. I assume for you in the house that you come from. And I also know, Plasma, that you, how dare you, not how dare you, fuck, fuck me for that. Sorry, Plasma. Why would you take Plain's wig? What, you didn't have nothing? You didn't have not one, one black, not one black wig? Not one, not one wig with a dark root. This wig is the, this actually makes it even worse. Bitch, I just thought, listen, it was a hard breakup for you, Jacob, on Abbott Elementary. I can't believe you dumped that man the way you did and were trying to get him to do all that. And it's been tough here. It's really been tough to connect with your students at Abbott Elementary because you're so lame and why and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And hell, all of that shit. I know it's tough for you, Jacob. Bitch, I don't want to see this new version of Tu Wong Fu if this is going to be in it. All right, I'm done. Those are my jokes for the day. I'm sorry, Plasma. I love you down, girl. Shh, hell no. Not even chop. Shh, before I get to finish it, fuck you. That's what I want to say. I love you. I want to scream at you for wearing this. I want to come up. Girl, what's wrong? Are you for real? Get back there. I'm... Who set her up like this? Dawn? Plain, Q, like that. I'm at that point with seeing this outfit. Where is Safira? You hugged her. Could you have hugged her outfit? Like, <laughs> oh. Oh. it's bad. I haven't even gotten to the other shot yet. Like, it's bad. Can you imagine that necklace with a bathing suit? <laughs> we can now. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm I'm so sorry, Donathan. I am so sorry. <sighs> I meant to say Plasmanda. Ooh, I'm getting them confused. Okay, listen, man, I have to stop saying that. By God in heaven. She said share 70s with the early 2000s. Where? <laughs> Hold on, share 70s. 2000s got who? Who? It looks like you're going to a Green Day concert in nosebleeds because no one's going to see you. On holiday? Mm -mm. It just doesn't look good. I, it looks like it went on a holiday. I wish it would not leave from the holiday. Plane crashed. Like, <laughs> oh my God. This is why I said I would have taken the pants and done a big flared Jinko jeans sort of inspired esque look. We would have never done a bathing suit at all. We would have done a bodice in the front to give like a breastplate moment, but it would drip down through. You already know what I'm talking about. And I wouldn't have taken you to the car wash either. I would not have taken you to the car wash. Like, we would have the same material for the pants, be the cutoff jacket moment, and the hound tooth would have lined it. We would have been fine, sister. We would have gave you a wig with a bang on it, 
this wig does not receive as goth. It receives as, why is that woman in our neighborhood? She doesn't have a husband. Call the police. That's what that wig gives me right now. I need your wig to have bangs on it. I need you to give me freaks and geeks. I wanted that to be, oh man. I, I feel like, oh, if Plasma knew that reference. How, Plasma, have you seen that show, Freaks and Geeks? I need something else. Anything else. I just need anything, anything else. I need a bang on that hair so bad. A bang. God, it, it, oh, oh, the, this, this, this right here. Plasma is dressed for open heart surgery. Yo. Okay, let's, let, let's not do this. I have to stop. I like plasma. I hate that I'm doing this to her so bad. But when I saw this, it audibly made me go, <laughs> that's terrible. That's really bad. That's really bad. Ew, it's ugly. But I love her. This is ugly. God, this is ugly. She's a beautiful doll. She's a beautiful girl. I love this queen. Do not send hate to her. I put this on everything. No, this is bad. The necklace is fucking destroying my entire universe right now. This is Thanos level of snapped. Do you hear me? Like everyone's looking at everyone disappear and Plasma's still there and they're going, come on! Like it's that right now. You took out Captain America, but this bitch got to stay. Like, it's it's giving that level. Scarlett Johansson's still here, but we lost Black Panther. Like, uh-uh. Something's amiss in the voting. Woo! All right. Okay. Ooh. I just know, I just know you carry a blade at your school and you have stabbed somebody while they were sitting in front of you and no one knew until they got home. Yep, that's what that gives. You give me a quick, you give me a jab or like, eh. she gives me one of those. It's not a good time. She's never sitting with anybody at lunch period. It's bad. Okay, we got to move on. I've been doing this for too long. I love plasma. This is wrong. This is not okay. This is dangerous territory. Maddie, let her go. You got to let her fall into the water, Maddie. Let her go. She's gone. She's in the water. God bless her. I'm kind of stupid today, but thank you for tuning in. <laughs> Bitch, I'm trying to work for these tips. At the same time, I'm fucking funny. Whatever. <laughs> Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Become a part of this Rant Pack family here with the uh, voting done. Plasma, 91% of people who have taste chopped you. 5% of you said she's cute. And 2% of you are trolling my chat right now with giving this the giving, which I think is great of you to do. Good for you. If you want to drop a sippy poo in my jar, please and thank you. It's Cash Up, Bell Simon Rants, Venmo Manage Rants, and PayPal. Got me for slash many rants. Hold on. I want to feel that deep voice in. Blake says something in the chat. And I went to leave a comment that would make them like freak out. So I think I said something gross enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> I hope whatever I said in my group chat to the panel was as disturbing as they felt it was. Because it should have been. I only posted it to make them go gross. All right. All right. Let's move past it. Let's, let's not get a donation. Safira Cristal is next. Safira Cristal. Oh, no, I'm not sexting. No one likes me like that. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, I'm trying to type her name. All right. Is it giving? Is she cute? Or is it a chop? Can I be real and say that the way she sold the outfit was more was the better storyteller. The outfit is great for me. It's fine. <laughs> it's how she was selling it that made me like enjoy it the most. I mean, bitch, I was cackling when this lady kept on <laughs> every time. 
And then it was she was doing it with the judges like crit critiques and their like jokes. So it made it that much funnier because it's like I can't even focus. Cause she's giving piss off like black woman, goth queen, like that energy. Very that. Like <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I think what she did, the presentation is what sold this more than anything. I think the, like RuPaul loved the fabric on there. I was like, girl, I wouldn't have gotten goth from this. I would have got possibly a cute, if this was done in a different cut, church dress. In my, like, no shades of fear. You know what I'm talking about with them sleeves. You got them darts going this way, girl. It's giving exits are here and here. If that dress was cut a little bit short to the knee, sweet pea, I promise you, you'd be sitting third row, no shade. I thought it was nice, though. I thought the split in the front was kind of interesting, but I, I I did like this. Rue was cackling, because I'm telling you, this lady was fucking selling it. She was selling this garment. The way she was walking was such... <laughs> she was walking like... <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was all to me so i yes it's giving i don't care <laughs> she made me laugh i left with a smile on my face i know that i paid we're good <laughs> we're good <laughs> Or, or mother of the bride and pissed off that they're not marrying someone who's like them or goth or that she had to dress like this for her goth daughter's wedding. And so she's at the wedding event like, do you know this little bitch got me in this outfit today? <laughs> this is what I told you. We shouldn't let that Karina date that boy. I try to tell you. <laughs> got me dressed looking like this motherfucking bullshit. Here we go. <laughs> I'd argue anybody from Dragula would have ate this category up because they would have known goth, but you know, well, not, ooh, not everybody on Dragula. Ooh. Don't be shady, be a lady. Well, I liked it though, Safira. Let's close Safira's poll and get into Nymphia wins. For D. Eight of y'all said giving, 45% of you said she's cute, 6% of you chopped Safira. Up next, the one who I felt like pissed all over this category and Loki gave me another Morticia moment because Nymphia's was the closest to Morticia, especially how the dress was so tight together. Oh, it was perfect. I also will say this too, for those who were like, she couldn't walk, that bitch was shuffle stepping the fuck out that dress to where it was still moving. I have to give it coots. I have to. It's it would be it would be a shame if I didn't. My ba baby girl was moving with them feet. I was like, okay. I said she wasn't going too slow. <laughs> she gives death. It looked really good. Silhouette was perfect. The spider up top in the headpiece that's just sitting there with its evil eye. The full bit of this, the silhouette alone, the mug. She was dra she draped the fuck out of this. I loved it. I really did. I really did. She said, <laughs> boom, boom. 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 It also reminded me, because mind you, you could never see Morticia walking. You would always see her float. And so when you're given dresses like that, where they're like hit and they're very tight, you want that smooth feel. You can see her feet, but like I got what she was going for when she said, it's tight, girl, and we about to boom, boom. I don't agree with them with the, oh, we couldn't see your face a bit. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think I liked that the most was that there was this ginormous fucking headpiece and it's veiled just, oh, just the details of the veiling around it with the feathers going into that spider that's sitting up top. It's giving. It's giving. I'm sorry. It's giving. 
that was the idea dark woman death becomes like not death becomes her but very if i would if we saw her in the anime you know she's giving final boss tease or a part of oh if this is like she's like the upper level demons and demon slayer <gasps> there we go boom perfect example she's giving upper level demons it's giving of the ones through the fives upper level okay like we're going to have two story arcs for her. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not just going to be Mugen Train and the Entertainment District, bitch. It's going to be like the Coutelier shop meets the runway. It's going to be two different ones. So yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Resident Evil villain. Okay, I can see that. The village one. Yeah, with the toilet. Uh-huh. I, I see it. I see it too. I like the vision of this. It, it's it's right. She gives me don't get, don't get hit from her. It's Elden Ring and one shot is all you got. It's giving that. It, oh, I hate. That's the only reason I don't like Elden Ring. Though. I had got to play it a little bit. I was like, wait, you can die that quickly? <laughs> I was like, wait, you can die like, like that fast? Is there an easier mode? My friend's like, why would you want an easier mode? Because I want to see the game. <laughs> Girl, I'd be fucking up. <laughs> if someone hit me, it's over, me. <laughs> oh, fabulous. Fabulous. Yeah, I was told if I do it on easy, then you're not playing the game. I, I, I don't want to die. <laughs> Feral Kitty, there I, when I tell you that game, got about three hours of my life, and I said, and the end of this. <laughs> Leavers, yes, like that's I fucking hated it. I mean, it was amazing, but it's also like this is heartbreaking. <laughs> like, how are we feeling successful today? Oh, I died multiple times. Had to start over. Redo. Mm -mm, not gonna. Not for me. That's why when they had the on Diablo. Oh, you can do a mode like that? Hell no. As crappy as this game has been, it was. Oh, Diablo Four. You could have been so good, but you ruined it. Speaking of which, for those of you who play Tekken Eight. I fully feel comfortable in my mastering of June now, and I'm up another rank online. And I just picked up a new main, and it's not Nina Williams. Ling Xiaoyu. Yeah, I picked up Ling Xiaoyu. I'm starting to get it used to her. And I played a couple of ranked matches online and won. So I'm like, oh, bitch, here we go. I got my second main. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, and I love it. There's like a three-way connection. June is the mother of Jen and Ling Xiaoyu is the love interest of Haiki. I love how I have that connection going for myself. <laughs> June and Xiaoyu, absolutely. Those are my babies right now. I love June. I mean, I love I love June, but no, Xiaoyu, I, I figured her out recently. I'm like, oh, I had to watch a couple of videos online. And they're like, she's actually disgusting. So yes, I'm very excited to continue to master her. I'm having a fun time working on her combos. Where are we at? Okay, this is great. Let's go ahead and close Nymphia Wins poll today. Uh, we are at 94% of us are giving this. 5% say she's cute. 0% of you chopped it. This is the only person to not get a chop today through the voting system here. So shout out to um, Nymphia Wynn. I was on my live and said I would text y'all something gross. Good for you. All right. Thanks. Where's that from again? Oh, the South Park. That's the episode when everyone gets an electric car. You know, I'm just trying to protect the environment and all that kind of stuff because I care about the world. Well, that's amazing. Good for you. Thanks. <laughs> Terror. Oh, yeah, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Terrifier 3 will be in theaters this year, and it's going to be based around Christmas. What do we give Art the Clown? What do we give Art the Clown? What are we giving them? Q. Is it giving? Is she cute? Is it a chop? So my favorite part of this is the coat. 
this coat dress moment situation because it's it, it, she says gown i receive it as a giant coat but it, it, it is gown but it, it's the way it's open for me where i'm like honey i i get this big beautiful gown that almost gives this drapey coat kind of vibe that goes with it i love that element of it um I kind of, the fishnet, I, I don't know if I wouldn't have done that, but I also go, okay, here, here we go. Here we go. The, it is a beautiful dress coat garment. Gorgeous. I don't read goth, but I, I, I still read extravaganza, if that's anything. Like, I really do. And again, I don't know, God, so I'm not, you know, be mad at me or whatever the case may be. It's, it's giving. It's not a chop. It's not she's cute. It is giving. It is giving. The lining of the coat, the polka dots on top, the way that there's flowers and florets all put onto it, and then that beautiful bow on the back of it, which she said she wouldn't take advice from Safira, but as we heard, Safira's the one that was like, you should put a bow on the back. Maybe you already had it in mind, Q, but I thought the bow was also a really beautiful touch. Can we stop saying this is not giving goth? Yeah, yes, it is. I will do what I want to do. That's one. Uh, two, if people don't feel it's goth, they don't have to agree with you. And three, you also can say this and be correct in your own certain sense. I, this picture wouldn't indicate that you know it either. At the same time, everyone here has their own take on this, right? So we can't just go, everyone, we, no, we don't speak for everyone. Someone's going to have a different opinion. And then we have to respect that. You being mad about that, though, that's how you feel, baby. I mean, let's not say mad. Let's just say, I'm tired of people saying it's not God. Okay, that's how you feel. There's no we, though. We got to work on that. <laughs> There's no we. Everybody feels a different ways about this. I don't see God, okay? I, I see clown artiste. Uh, if anything, but I also enjoy this outfit in the same breath. And I think it's everything. Peace to Mateo. Take me by. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Drewski, she said she only had black wigs in page. But shut up. Thank you for the super chat. Back to Peace to Mateo. Look at the Nike logo on the side of Q's head. Shut up. First of all, first of all, Voldemort left that scar on their head. So we're not going to talk about he who must, I literally just said his name, but don't do that. Just do it, Peace Mateo. Shut up. But I was floored. Thank you for the super chat. Someone called Q that white face, strong chin spider. I saw the picture online. Y'all are out of line for that. And that brought up like a core memory I thought I forgot. <laughs> Club Kid is what I'm seeing more of. I am seeing more of that. And I don't need weed to make that decision for me. <laughs> I see more clip kit out of this, but I still think it looks fucking great. It does. It's very well tailored, very well done, extremely beautiful. Not seeing goth in this look does not take away how good this is, too. I hope that also we can receive, right? Uh, let's go ahead and wrap that poll up here before others get mad for no reason. Uh, giving 48%, she's cute, 40%, and 11 What? What? 11% of y'all chop this. Oh, I would never say that. Not for this. This is good. This is cute. I mean, it's a look. Why did you, really? I almost want to take time to ask people why they chopped the look, but then I'm like, I don't really care if that's what you felt. <laughs> if that's what you felt, girl. Oh, just like other statements that were made with some foolishness. If that's how you felt, go for it. Like, Got it. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> All right. So we are going to move on uh, to the judging, which again, I say, not Leah, it's not God. So I chop well. well. <laughs> I want there to be love in this world, Leah. Yes, I, I promise you I do. I do. That's all, y'all. I don't care how you feel. Okay. I want you to. I love how I'm like, I want there to be love in this world. I don't care how you feel. 
<laughs> Stupid. May not want to look at that. <laughs> Out of lake. Not my god. Shut the fuck up. Not my god. <laughs> I wouldn't do it to the tune of mod. And then there's goth. <laughs> and then there's goth. Black lipstick too light. Black lipstick too light. eyeliner. <laughs> Piercing nose to lips. And then there's goth. <laughs> Stupid. I hate y'all. Go away. No, don't do that. And then there's goth. <laughs> oh, that would have been a great category name. And then there's goth. They have to say it just like that, too. <laughs> oh, pew, pew, pew. Everybody say love. Everybody say goth. All right. Um... Let go, Matt. Just let go. We, my face hurts. Hold on. Have you ever smiled so much or you laugh so much like up here? It gets like really tight, like right where your cheekbones are. That happens to me when I laugh too much or I've, if I've been smiling or I keep that thing. Oh my God. I feel weird. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh. Ow. Like they got all stiff, right? <laughs> Cramps from smiling is actually a pretty good thing, right? Mm. Okay, there we go. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. Drop a tippy poo in my jar if you feel like it. PayPal at me for slash Matty Rants. Cash up, dollar sign, Matty Rants. Venmo, Matty Dash Rants. Oh my God. Okay, a mandatory meeting. You liked my post. You have to follow me now. It is only fair. My God, it's sister. Okay? I know I talked about the makeup at the beginning of the season, but it's only fair that you follow me. It's only fair. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I like the queens this season. Don't let my opinions fool you. I really do. I respect all the girls, except for Sharon and that... Those two from season 11, and then they're so far and so forth. Yes, there you go. And any girl that did blackface, don't give a fuck about them hoes. All right, moving forward here. Hey, um, everybody should have been in the top, in my opinion, or at least there should have been clear highs. Everyone else is safe. Maya, plasma, bottom. I don't think morphine deserved to be in the bottom three, in my personal opinion. I think that morphine did a good enough job. Mel. Did you ask what Sharon did? Someone, I don't got time, Mel. No, and there's no shade to you. Someone help the Mel experience in my live chat. Please, please help her out. I, I would like to still stay monetized today because that's how bad it is. Like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Okay. Uh -uh. Nine tail, shut up. That girl was rude to me. Anywho, uh, moving forward, prodigy's lawyer. Yep, there you go. That's it. You're welcome. All right, so Q, Nymphia, Dawn were in the top. You could argue that Safira was there well, but I would say she was high safe with uh, plain Jane being safe and then it being low safe morphine, bottom two Maya. Plasma. You could argue that was how the votes went, personally. That's all. Whew. And, and Mel, I'm just going to say, for your own mental sanity, don't go down that rabbit hole, because it gets dark, and it, and I mean, you can't say that with Sharon, but it gets dark, sister. I don't think you need to go down that rabbit hole. There are cliff notes out there, but mm-mm. Mm -mm. I would be shocked if they ever returned to the show and got to compete again. I'd be shocked. I'd be shocked. I would also be like, yo, um, are we are we not aware? Like, we we don't do research on people. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, there's some other things too, but we don't have to go into that. That's not what this is about today. All right. So Maya was called out because, well, Michelle Visage had a bone to pick with her because she said, I know you don't know how to sew, baby girl. So what what happened here again? Which it was kind of Safira helped, but then it had to be sort of pulled out that yes, she did a a good amount of the work. But like Safira and Maya have been saying online, and when I showed you that screenshot, Maya technically sewed the dress together. Cut out the patterns? I don't think so. She didn't have a pattern to cut out. She had to use Safira's. Got the skirts together? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. So there, there was. There, there was. There was. Some things where I'm like, okay, sister, you you got a lot of help with it. Now, I will say that they have let that shit go in the past. They have literally not made this a storyline. It has made a storyline this week, though, and this is my Libra kicking in because there are a lot of seamstresses in the room. There's a lot of people who can make their own outfits in the room, the majority of of them so it is going to be a focal point if someone is getting help other seasons like it's like three people there can sew like two people maybe you know what i mean like actually three maybe two for sure this season it felt like everybody knew what the fuck they were doing except for maybe maya who was left plasma knows how to put together a look and so does morphine but I don't think that Maya has that no shade to you, sister, in your wheelhouse of let me figure out what a look I want to pull together, get in the sewing machine, and then pull it and make it done. Like, it's not a part of your wheelhouse. You're more of an entertainer for me when it comes to that department of creativity than I would say, say, a seamstress, right? So I think that's why it was a bigger deal because the majority of girls up there can make something. You cannot, this is the challenge. There are not that many people left to where we can have a conversation about these looks. We're going to talk to you. That's the, that's the reason why, in my opinion. Plasmas was ugly. So we're just going to say that, right? Q winning this challenge. I'm not mad at it. Actually, fuck all that. Let's do a poll. <laughs> Let's do a poll. I want to hear from y'all before we go further, forward because low key, look at me, y'all. This, this is a review. It's not four hours long. We're in two and a half hour marker here. And we're almost done talking about it. Am I doing better? I don't care. We love talking over here. We. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Put your leg down. <laughs> okay. Who won? And I'm going to say this, this challenge. I'm going to give you the three. Oh, no. I'm going to put Safira in there because there was, I still say top four, whatever. Uh, Q. This is just your opinion. Does not take away from the person who won. And this is not to be shady. I just want to hear. I like to I like to get some rant pack feedback on this one. You got Q, you got Nymphia, you got Don, you got Safira. Those are the only four, in my opinion, that were even up for discussion if a win was on the table. If you were at the judges panel and you were given the main decision based off of everything that you have seen, what would you do? What would you do? What would you do in this moment? When there's tears in your eyes. Why are you sending me a request to pay you money? Mardell, if you're watching this, I don't know if you meant to tip, sweetie, but you sent me a request for money. Talking about, oh, uh, this is for plasma. <laughs> Uh, huh? <laughs> well, thank you for requesting. I'm going to deny you politely, okay? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I don't have it set up to where I have to go through things to where you can send it. So that's why I was like, what's happening? <laughs> I got some notifications for some tippy poos that I never got. I don't know why I never got them. Something's going on with my phone. Oh, please, God. I, do, I don't want to upgrade. I'm on my last payment on this iPhone 15 Pro Max. 
13 Pro? What number is this? I don't even remember. All I know is this is a 526 gigabyte phone, and I've never had one before. It's been amazing. I know how Apple works. God, I'm talking. You hear me? Hey, friend, what's up? I know, rough, rough year so far. Kind of cool, but you know. Whew. I want my bill to be very cheap the next six months. They're already going to announce another iPhone in September anyways. I am not getting a new phone. I refuse it. I, Bitch, I am tired of paying on this. Like, mm -mm. I hate that with the phone companies sometimes, though. Like, who wants to pay full price for it? Give it for free. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm literally one payment away from my cell phone bill going down by, like, $60 a month. A big deal. I'm paying for an iPad and this on there, and it's literally one payment away. One more month. I'm like, I don't, I just, I just don't, why would I want to pay for another two years on the phone? No, stupid. <laughs> but like, I need the 526 because I do a lot of my filming and recording on this phone and editing also onto the computer. So it makes sense why I have a very, this very, very heavy ass phone that if I threw at somebody, it would be considered a weapon. Because for those of you who have the maxes for iPhones, you know what I'm talking about. These bitches are heavy. You drop it, everybody in your apartment complex knows the phone fell. Don't drop it. Blah, 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 blah. Like, this phone scares the cats. <laughs> like, like, scares the cats every time it drops. Mina's the first one. Pew! Like, it's... <laughs> oh, stupid. Okay. Dio, thank you for the tippy poo on uh, Cash App for Nymphia was robbed again. Thank you, babe. I appreciate you, Shauna. Hello. Hello back to you, babes. Okay, those were the two that didn't come through. My apologies, everybody. What's going on with this? Hold on, let me check some other things, too, just in case I missed everything. Okay, we're good. All right. Had to double check there. I'm like, none of my notifications came in and I have them set up that way. That is very strange. Fruit from the puppy tree. My tummy's like, feed me. We will, we will, babe. All right. Don, I am literally asking for tip money. <laughs> no, I'm poor, babe. I'm poor, lovey. I want to play it bad. Blake said it was amazing, so... Whenever I'm done with the vacation and I'm not thinking about spending money on a trip, I will buy the game. If Yeah, I will buy the game later. It's going to have to be at a later day. <laughs> I got DragCon. I got this Miami trip. I'm like, mm. I got these cats right now. I want to play it, but it's going to have to be a gift. <laughs> it's going to have to be a gift. I really want to play it, though. You know I love Final Fantasy. Anyway, Q is the winner. Not taking it from Q. Congratulations to Q. I can see why they won. I would have gave it to Nymphia, but I think uh, I also would have been concerned of when Q had made that statement. Like she said, "Bitch, if I didn't win this one, I was going to lose my ship. Better yet, I should have won all three design challenges." Talk your noise, Q. Talk it. But I also would have hated to have seen what that was going to look like if you didn't win this challenge. I would have hated that. Ooh, I don't feel like it would have been fun. I don't think it would have been a good time for anybody. I'm like, you going off on the internet right now. I can only imagine how that would have been if you didn't. Girl. Girl. People are not feeling that from Q. I say, talk your shit. Talk that big one. But I'm also thinking to myself, not you telling us that you were going to throw a huge fit which we have seen you do before. <laughs> so it's like, mm. Anthony, get down, Maddie. She's going to call you a bridge troll. She, she should not. I've been talking about Q this entire season. And most of the time when I talk about the show, the majority of the queens get me. I mean, Plain is following me for fuck's sake. You know what I'm saying? And I've been talking about Plain all this season. If anything, Q should know that I'm a fan of her work. I just... I can't sit there and lick someone's shoe the entire season and be like, girl, girl, like even people I like, I'm going to have to give it to sometimes. I literally talked about Safira's breastplate giving us Fisher Price tees, looking like two whoppers got pushed together in the car and melted in the back seat. That's my sister. Hey, Safira, I know we, she would follow each other back, but I'm also 
y'all know honey is my mother and her and Safira are close so there's already a connection there and it's my libra you know on top of that so yeah again q should be fine like you know now i saw some of the stuff that y'all were talking about on twitter about q and i can see why she blocked you I was being funny. No, you dragged that lady. You dragged that young bald headed man. You did. You did. You did. You dragged, oh, if they're non-binary, the non-binary scope of the shell of what looks like the end of a makeup brush teeth. You did. You dragged her. So she blocks you. It was earned. It was earned. I, bitch, I kept seeing some of the stuff y'all were saying. Like, and you're mad she blocks you? Bitch, you literally called her a loser. You called her a loser. In your words, she will be just fine. This is TV. You let that lady block you. Okay? Imagine if Charlie Brown was created in this era. You think that that little baby would have been going through the stuff he was going through? Getting picked on by all those people and having a best friend that holds a fucking blanket? No. Charlie Brown would have been on the right uh, antidepressants. He would have never came to Lucy for advice on anything. Lucy would have been thrown into a full-on school for uh, youth that is terrible. Y'all know that I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Please. Charlie would be doing his thing right now. Probably, you know, addicted to Adderall, but he'd be fine. He'd be a productive young man. Probably would own Twitter right now and ruin it. If she wants to go off, I, I'm not mad at her. I wish her some of the jokes aren't good but i also go i mean at one point you just tired i know when i drag people i go into the category is uh anthony see that's the thing i have to be real with you friend once you have called me out my name once you have talked once you have said something about me that has gone past the point of disrespect fuck everybody else's feelings about whatever joke i'm gonna say i'm gonna read you for the misshapen fruit that you are I'm going to talk about how you look like somebody's Walmart bin fruit. Mm -hmm. It's it's over. And I can't be mad at her for that. I may not like it. I may not agree with it at the time, but I also know how I operate. Don't come for me and say some shit that's going to, you're not going to come back from. I'm going to read you from the pits of hell and I'm not going to be asking for forgiveness afterwards. I'm going to mean everything I said. Oh, so, I mean, this is why Drewski, I made the statement I made about how I d refuse to look my name up. I refuse to type my name in. I refuse. But also, Drewski, you need to recognize that they don't have to be tagged. I can see sometimes when people post stuff about people, I'm not even following because someone follows them. So imagine if Q is following her fellow sisters and somebody that they're following because they were being nice posted something crazy and it's on the For You page. So I can only assume that either Q typed their name in, which is one fucking letter and found everything, or while they were online looking for positive critiques or possibly for things to look at, they see someone make some fuck ass post about them and now they're forced to look at it. So let's not just reserve it for tagging and them needing to see it. Because everybody, anybody that I know that tag folks in their reads, you, you're not a child of God. There is no hope for you in this earth. Fuck you. Because you're weird. That's weird to tag someone into like, I want you to see how I feel about you. Weird. That's all. Like, that, that's just how I feel about it. I'm just going to say, you come for me. I'm coming for your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother. I'm coming for anybody in your household. Are, is something wrong with them? That's too bad because I got to get them. Like, you don't get to come over here and occupy space in my piece. And I find that to be for all of you. I hope that's the same for you. Girl, your piece. Don't let nobody shake you for that. The girls are coming for her. Read, bitch. I mean, or or shade. There we go. Shade. <laughs> I don't know about read. Shade them. But yeah. Yeah, Anthony, that's why I have to block drag race and a couple other hashtags now it's real housewives of beverly hills because i'm sick of these uh gar sales race car uh, uh fuck you and fuck all that i'm not doing this today you're not gonna let these microaggressions get away i have to block a lot of stuff down and i think i talked about this recently because social media is extremely toxic nobody wants to be called annoying that could suck 
I would hate that. I know people think I'm annoying. I would be hurt by that. That is, that hurts my, I know I'm, do you hear me for two hours and 45 minutes? I have been talking like this. I know someone finds me annoying, <laughs> but I would hate to hear it. I, let, let me not tell y'all how to feel. I'm just saying from my point of view, I can see why someone's doing what they're doing. And I, I'm not mad at it. Don't direct it over here though. Cause then I have to come get you and I don't want to do that. You know, there's a reason why a particular girl from Dragula has me blocked because she knows she don't want it. She doesn't need it because I will end her quickly. I already have jokes ready. I've been dying for that roast. I've been dying for it. Ready to go. I tried out some of my work during their season. So trust and believe. Oh yeah, you better have me blocked because it's going to be up and up for you. Anywho, continuing on here today. No, Drewski, no one needs to tell you. No one needs to tell you. Uh, I don't know. I don't ever look them up. I don't know if they have me. I, don't, I wouldn't care if that was one. That's. It's not her, though. It's not her. It's the gatekeeper of the trans community. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Matthew, be quiet. The gatekeeper of the non-binary trans community. Excuse me, that one. The one that changed their name because they knew if it was associated with the previous one, then all that racist shit they said back in the day would come up. That girl. Mm -hmm. Miss Sarah, honey. You can change it to whatever you want to change it to, sweetie. I know who you are. We got the receipts. It's, it, never forget. Never forget. A whole Muppet throat. Anywho, uh, moving forward here. Never, never heard someone sound like two cats shitting in each other's mouths, dying slowly before in my life, but we got her. Now, continuing on today with this one, Maya and Plasma are in the bottom. Why is this a TikTok song? No, it's not the big boule. I said a contestant. I didn't say a judge. Okay. They already answered this in the chat. Anywho, uh, I like the song Bloody Mary. Why are we getting this version of it, though? This isn't a good version. I'm, I don't like this version of it. I, I also hated hearing this on TikTok. It should have been the original. Speaking of which, shout out to um, Lucky, my good friend out there. He sent me a... Plasma did their Bloody Mary version on YouTube, like a production when black and white and stuff. It was gorgeous. It was beautiful. It was great. I said, you had dancers and that made it look good. Um, but yeah, Gaga deserved better. We also could have done Marry the Night. I'm gonna marry in the night. I'm on a to the store. I'm gonna marry. I am waiting for that song. Ma, ma, marry, ma, 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 marry, ma, 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 marry the night. Mm -mm -mm. Are you kidding me? Come on, come on, night. Oh, 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 night. That breakdown is so nasty. We, oh my God. Can you imagine? That da, 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 da. Oh my goodness. Oh, we would have been living. We would have been living. We would have been living. Oh, 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 I cannot wait for them to do that song. Please, God. <laughs> oh my God. They did Bad Romance many moons ago for season three. I think that was Phoenix versus um, Delta. Yeah. I think that was a song. Might be. Might be. Uh, no, I need Mary the Night. Y'all don't know, Mary the Night is such a good drag song. There's too many levels. Lace up my boots, have the red shoes. Like, there, uh, I wanna run. Bow, 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 bow. I wanna... It's so good. It'll just be so good. We are robbed of that. I'm sorry, I have to say it. We're, we've been robbed of that song so far. They have options. You have a budget now. We've seen you break it for folks. Okay? I'm also going to tell RuPaul's Drag Race, I know Beyonce got a number one song with Texas Hold'em. You still have all of Act One to go through. Certain songs, specifically. Don't mess it up. You have options. Before we get this country album, you got options. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I like Perfect Illusion. That's another good one too. Yeah. Perfect Illusion should have got more time. Didn't that come out during the Joanne days? Yeah. The perfect illusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was that was that was Joanne times, huh? Wasn't that one of the first ones? Do I want a song from Joanne? Hey girl. It wouldn't, they wouldn't do it right. Hey, I would like hey girl. That would be a hot song to do. Eh. Okay. I don't like us. I, I, I please don't you ever say I am not a Gaga fan. I'm she may not be my one all be all like B is, but I know Gaga. Also, I um one of her the main dancer, Mike. Michael, he had a show. I was on Wii TV. He's from Houston. I knew him back in the day. So we were all hyped seeing him on tour with Gaga back in the early days. A little fun history from your boy, Maddie. So, yeah. Uh, what's his last name again? Because he dated my friend for a little bit and I was dating his friend. That's, a long, that's another story. <laughs> we went to Cheddar's. <laughs> oh my God, Mike, if you see this video, yes, friend. The Cheddar's right over there off of the Beltway, girl. <laughs> That's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I knew about Gaga like early days because we all knew somebody out here that was a part of that. He was like the head dancer back in the day. Uh, and yeah, Stephanie's career has been very interesting. Yeah, it's been a very interesting career. Very. I want Guy. And I know it's G-U-Y, but I say, guy, I want to be that girl, boom, 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 under you. I, 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 I want to be your G-U-R. Baby, baby, I want that. I want to take the girl. Bitch, come on. Touch me, touch me. Don't you. Oh, please. I want to be that. There we go. Michael Sluis. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's from Houston. Want to be that G-U-Y. Oh, that would be such a hot song. Oh, Lynn, that's one of Pisa songs. Lynn, that's one of Pisa songs, baby. That's one of the songs I've literally, when I do, I have a workout routine where I do uh, resistance bands and all that for about 45 minutes to an hour. For 45 to another hour, normally 45 minutes because I'm tired. I put on my heels, I get in this house, I get, on the rug, so I'm not gonna slip in nothing like that. I turn on every song that I plan to perform and I'm going through it. Guy is one of them. And um, come on, Matt, uh, Replay. Those are the two Gaga songs I wanna do. GUI and Replay. And Swine is my backup. Swine is the other one I wanna do that. Oh, Swine. Swine, Swine, ba, ba, ba. Oh, oh yeah, Swine, oh please, that'd be another one. They have to have a girl, like, they need to have someone who, with Maya's energy, go against Maya to a song like Swine. Like, if you're gonna do the up-tempo songs, and you want us to have a show, you put a girl who you know can work with another girl who can work. Like how we had Anitra and Marsha. You need a battle. That, that was a double save. You need a battle because that the song then gets amplified even bigger because the queens are bucking. And it's like, you're hearing the music like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. But you're like, oh my God, oh my God, that movie. It just, it creates the um, adrenaline factor. Your endorphins are all just through the roof. Mm -hmm. That's why when we have people who don't dance against someone who can dance, it's like, well, we're going to focus on one person or emote and the other one doesn't emote. So this started off fine. I was like, okay. But once we got into here, here, once we got into here, I said, and scene. Because Maya's were really soft, really, really, really soft. And then here come Plasma. And I said, all right, that's the wrap. It's over. It's over. Let's just keep watching. I was like, all right. I don't know why you needed to do this. I don't, Maya, I, this is, this will be the one thing on this season from you. I will go, I don't, I don't know why we went here. I don't know what happened. I have never seen a wig get removed so quick. I was like, oh, she didn't, oh, she didn't need that. She didn't need it. There were just random petals. And then was that a stock? Was that a, 
a stocking cap? Was that a, was a do rag? It looked like a stocking cap. That's why I was like, like when Jane said beanie, I said, oh, she don't know black people. So is that a stocking cap? Because that's what I saw. <laughs> I was like, girl, I thought she had a stocking cap like old boy on Friday, uh, on next Friday, Mike Epps care. I was like, girl, that's a stocking cap, a beanie. <laughs> I said, she don't know black people. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> a beanie. Yo, that, that got me. Yo. <laughs> Oh my God, a beanie. <laughs> oh yeah, she don't, she not around too. I know Boston, I get it. Uh-huh. Woo! Uh <laughs> okay, so when she took off her wig and revealed her stocking cap so that we're all aware that's what it was, not no beanie. <sighs> Listen. Maya went from sexy, sexy drag queen to possibly holding up a bank with Cleo or Wesley Snipes. I said she went from Tu Wong Fu to set it off or dead president's club. Sweetie, sweetie. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, um, cool. Like we're watching this performance happen. We're going through the full rip of it all. And I'm thinking, she's probably going to lose because she done removed this wig so early. What's about to happen? I was not prepared for those two back handsprings. In that dress, in that gown that touched the floor. You're fucking kidding me, right? Let, let me pause my rant to say thank y'all for tuning in today. It's your boy, Maddie Rants. We're talking about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16, Episode 9. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Become part of this Rant Pack family. If you want to drop a little extra love in my jar, it's really appreciated and necessary. And I thank you. PayPal.me for such my rants. Catch up with those my rants. And Vim and Rants. Let's continue on with the show. And I have a reaction on Patreon for as low as $1 a month. Check out my Patreon. Available for consumption. Is Cash App just showing me this? Shauna, they just sent me that notification for that hello. That's crazy. I'm like, what? And they still haven't shown deals coming in. Mm -mm, let's get this together. Do I need to update my phone? <laughs> uh, them two back handsprings were so fucking clean. Clean. I was like, what is happening here? <laughs> in a gown. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought that was so pissed. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm, it was right. That was like, okay. Oh, yeah. oh. Hold on, y'all. I need to go to the app store real quick. You have 70 apps that all need to be updated. Why is this not updating when I am asleep? Okay. That's why I wasn't, and my app needs to be updated. It was the fact, okay, God, she was flipping on dance, dance, dance with my, like, that's the part that I thought was hot. Cause it was two Lady Gaga's words with the beat hitting at the same time. So when she was flipping, it was in sync. Oh, fabulous. Hold on a second. My nose is going crazy. The flips were flawless. And then she immediately comes out into da da da. I said, the stunt didn't have you out of breath. Meanwhile, Leah Michelle losing that Tony again. I know it's tough, sister. I Sorry, y'all needed to blow my nose off camera here. Um, who said I need a wiglet? Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. So at this part of the song, Gaga is going, I think, into the bridge. And so Plasma is doing this with her mouth. Oh, I was like, all right. Woo.
felt it looked like plasma was yelling into Maya's booty hole. Like, stop, <laughs> stop being so tight. I shut up. I almost said something else. <laughs> I sound like Carson Cressley with all these bottom jokes today. Uh, moving forward. Baby, I'm sorry, you can't tell me shit right here. I love y'all down, but that part where there was the freak out in the song and Maya looked like somebody's like a, like a whole roach that got sprayed real quick with some of that rain. It's like, wait a minute. Like, I just, I couldn't take, I couldn't take this. <laughs> it's like a hamster that got dropped from too high and starts to convulse. Like it just, I, no mayo. Yeah, I think that's the one I want to use. A hamster, because I used to work at PetSmart. A hamster that got dropped from too far and had a seizure real quick. And no shade to those who have seizures. God bless y'all who have uh, made it through those things. But that's the truth. And if you know hamsters, that was one of the most accurate descriptions I could give for that performance. Holy shit, that was an accurate description. <laughs> you will never know the fear in a child's face or the disappointment of a parent when you're trying to give someone a hamster in the, like I used to work at PetSmart many moons ago in college and I was uh, the assistant, uh, not the manager, but I was second in charge of my department, which was small animals, fish, reptiles, amphibians, all that. So I had to clean those cages. I had to handle those stuff. I had to give birds medicine, all that kind of shit, right? I used to have to give hamsters this stuff that helps them not have like wet tail, which can kill them, okay? I remember holding this panda hamster because they called them panda hamsters and this kid really wanted it and I was holding it and I told the child, I said, you have to be careful because they are skittish and they move quickly. And so if it's in your hand, the hamster is not going to go, oh, it's far up here. No, it's going to go get me away from this unfamiliar environment. I swear to God, I told these children every time this happened. At least half the time I did this, it always happened. Not every time that they would lose their shit but sometimes they would and they would be fine afterwards because it was like a stun that happens they like freak out and then it's like okay you good the hamster's fine let it breathe okay back to where we go i will never forget this kid i put it in his hand and do you want to know what he did the mo the mo hey sweet face hi mina hi you want to say hi to everybody say hi say hi baby girl hi hi hey all right, I'm putting you back down. He went oh, and flung it in the air. I'll never forget it. I'll never let that go. I saw that hamster go up and I said, oh my God, you need to imagine me in PetSmart uniform after a eight hour day trying to juggle a hamster in mid air. Me, the mom and the child. Go, 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 go. Yes. Yes, that's a real story. Bitch, that motherfucker hit the ground. And that shrill, that scream from that little baby, the, the boy was seven. That scream, I'll never, I, I still hear it. It shit haunts me. I'm talking about pow. Blah, 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 like the kid thought he killed the baby. I'm like, he's alive, he's alive. The mom's like, how could you, who, who is how? Who is how? Bitch, I gave your child this thing to hold you. Want to get him a goddamn hamster. Get him fish next time. <laughs> we were going in. We were going in. Like, I was cussing that lady out in front of her child, like, because she's mad at me. And I'm like, you're the one that said, let's do this today. Like, come on now. Anywho, the hamster was fine. He literally got up, pooped on himself. The boy was freaking out. I gave him the hamster again. He didn't jump. Let me tell you what happened. This will, I, ooh, this pissed me off. He gonna go. So can we get another one? Cause I dropped this one. So they wanted me to put the hamster back in the cage, the back of the little area and get him a different one. That wasn't the one that they just dropped. You wanna know what I did? I sat there and played with their asses. I put that hamster right back up in there, shuffled the stuff around, switch, 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 put that hamster that he dropped right in the box and sent him on his way. I said, yeah, you gonna get this one. You gonna get the one. <laughs> you gonna get that one. <laughs> and that is Maddie's story time today of one of my pet smart stories. <laughs> I got many, I got many of them, but that's one of my pet smart stories. It's a true story too. <laughs> 
One day I need to tell you about the scar I have on my hand from the lovebird that bit in and wouldn't let me go. <laughs> he like literally I'm bleeding in front of a customer. He's like, "What do we do? Call the call someone, please." <laughs> dance, dance, dance. Well, I said, I, it was bad. I love you, Plaz, but. Mm -mm. Ooh, this duck walk. You know, we have made many arguments, many statements, many this, that, and the other when it comes to this. I always, you know, sometimes people are like, oh, I'm not trying to come for you. I'm just asking what do you think is correct ballroom? And I always find that to be a trap because it feels like, well, if anything, you're just looking for me to say what you think I'm going to say. So that way you can just argue when you don't have the knowledge either. I've been in ballroom. I have lost many of times. I have made it to the finals. I think I only have one trophy to my name. And that wasn't for anything. Like it was like schoolboy realness. That's it. I version Vogue never got past to the final. Well, actually, I got to the finals and then lost many a time for that one. I've tried to walk ivory face because I was so bright. Okay. I, I, I know ballroom very well. All right. Very well, much respect to the ballroom community. Maya's mom is Katrina Ebony. Hi. And I literally just saw that online where she was confirming that. Ebony. Baby. All right? Y'all should know, I know some of the Ebony's. Uh, a particular mother that was on a particular season. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go. So let me be real with you here. That duck walk was a duck walk, sweetie. Then she did the tippy toe up, tippy toe up. That's one of my favorite things that I see when girls are doing uh, in the five elements of voguing and you're doing a, w, a duck walk and you want to pop up a little bit and get, do a little a little change up, a little change up, a little tippy tip, a little change. Oh, I love, I love it so much because duck walk's not just clack, clack, clack. It, there's more to it to that. There's different ways of doing it where it's still very clean. And that's one of my favorite little tricks to do with it, right? Then, oh, Maya, when I say it was, this was the end all be all. After this, they could have ended the song. They could have ended the song. Come on, Nine Tail Phoenix. Katrina, Katrina, Katrina. Talk about it. When you hear that beat and you hear that cadence, Katrina, Katrina, cut. Hmm. Okay, so continue. It's her taking the dress. Clack, clack, and then going into the full spin. Because listen, she started up. Ha, ha. Here comes the hurricane, bitch. Ooh. Pow. Listen, that spin and that dip. It has been so long since I've seen it done so cleanly. On this show, there is very few Aja, Maya. I can't think of the other person right now. I know there's another girl that's in ballroom that also knows how to do this as well. That's been on the show. Uh, Kiona. Okay? They know what they're doing. That landing was soft and puss. And it was very fem It was very feminine. Boom. Just a nasty little boom. Wasn't loud. It wasn't strong. <laughs> I'm not saying either of those names because Ganj is not in the ballroom community like that and neither is Nitra. Those are appreciators and emulators, but not folks that are in the community. They're not doing the do's. Like you can go to Aja's page right now. Mama's actually in balls, still going. Lots of runway, also does a uh, Fembo. Kiona, legendary staple. There's a difference. There's appreciators of it. And then there's people who are actually in it. You're going to have to stop saying that Laganja is a vote. She's not. She's an appreciator of it. She is aware of moves. She's not a part of the house like that. And she's not competing at all. No, no trophies for her involved. None. None. Cheryl's doing classes and don't know what they're doing. Has never done not one move right. You saw it on TV, you saw it on the show, and you're trying to emulate the, the function and the fashions without knowing the true history and art behind it. Paris is Burning is only one essential piece of ballroom knowledge. Very, very early knowledge. It is a new game. It is a different place now. 
get into it. I get very, we get passionate about it. There you go, Olivia, boom, that's another name. That's someone who's competing right now. We get passionate about it because it is an art form. And it, it comes from a place that a lot of people do not understand and have been have been privileged to not have to go through that and have seen others do that. There's so much more nuances to that than why can't we just, no, 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 sweetie. It's not that you can't have it. It's that you're not paying respect to it by understanding and then really appreciating it. You're just making it, you're saying we're making it about a race thing when in reality you're saying, why can't we come in your space when you don't want to do the research behind it? That's the issue. It's not just a race thing. It's about you not wanting to actually do the groundwork and understanding the five elements the ballroom community and what voguing is and, and why it's not just voguing, it's ballroom. There's more than just voguing to ballroom. Drives me fucking nuts. There are appreciators and I love the appreciation. I do not like when you go out and say, I vogue and I do, but you don't. I don't do it anymore. I used to. I can't go out there and go, girl, I'm a part of this. No, I can say I used to. I can say I competed back in the day at 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning back in the day. Not now. That'd be a fool's journey. Also, legendary. That's TV ballroom. That's not real ballroom. So don't go. I watch legendary. I know. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't you have you also have surface level knowledge there just like with paris is burning surface level get in there pay pay that money to go to the ball one day be there till 10 a.m in the morning stay for every category bathroom break oh yeah be that girl i i know that life oh i know it about i know about it baby all about it <laughs> all about it everyone's leaving the club and it's time to go get breakfast like that kind of shit or go to work <laughs> I know some of y'all don't want to hear that today, but I'm going to preach on it every time because it is something for me that I'm passionate about, especially coming from the community that I was raised in as a Black gay man, how we operate, act, and pay homage to our beginnings. And I see a lot of people do not do that anymore. They they almost try to rewrite that history and then pop up like, well, we were paying on, but you weren't though, because you didn't give the right cadences. You didn't give the truth behind it. You gave your truth, but not the truth behind it. You can have yours, but it has to be theirs too, especially if it came from somewhere. It's important. History is important. I hate that I'm yelling that like I'm a teacher, but it's seriously important. Because if you don't know where things came from, how are you going to... What's up? I listened to Quentin, Quinta Brunson on The Hot Ones talking about, I really hate how people who want to get into comedy and show writing aren't educated. And that sat with me because she said, I didn't, I didn't just have to go to school and get my degree on that. I just went and got a bunch of books from people who I know who knew what they were doing. And then I listened and I read and I applied those things that made me feel good. I said, that, that's what I want to hear. And it's not that hard. You can literally go ahead and educate yourself. Maddie, where are you going to go for that? I already gave enough. <laughs> Tire Zillennia, hold on. Love your channel, OG Montrose Queen. Come on, Houston. I see you, baby. The neighborhood. back when they'd have showers that, oh. Okay, so how come I'm old enough to know that reference and I live and I breathe. <laughs> the fact I am old enough to know that reference, better get tired, Zillennial, I'm gonna help you out. You remember how, you know how it's buddies now for that club? Remember when that was the actual bookstore? The nail salon never moved, uh-huh. And the Hollywood Chinese restaurant was across the street. That's now that empty lot currently, back in those days. I love you, baby. Thank you so much for the generous super chat and I appreciate you, Zhao. Down, down, down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blueberry, I missed this. I'm sorry, baby. Face makeup don't match the body, the like morphine. I think you're talking about Q's look because they did a white face, but everything else was just their normal color. I can see that. Thank you, Blueberry. Yeah, once Maya went into that dip and spin, it got a little uh, chaos magic. 
it was sloppy as hell afterwards. I kind of hated the rest of this. I'm just I'm gonna be real with you. I kind of hated the rest of this like a lot. I was like, girl, what is going on? I felt bad for both of them. I'm like, they're both like Plasma's trying to do Maya at one point, and it's like, but you don't know what you're doing, so please stop. And then like Maya was going in at parts she didn't even have to. There were a couple times I'm like, Ma, you don't even have to keep on going, girl. You lucky already chewed her. But I like the fact that they were fighting. Like, let me see you fight for your position. That's what we want. That's what the judges want to see. They want to see you fight. I just thought at one point in time, I was like, okay, ladies, <laughs> let's start the song back up and let's try this again because y'all are starting to flop around. It's getting a little crazy. <laughs> it's, getting a little... it's interesting. It's a new take on this. I wouldn't do that myself, but okay. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. No, but I um, personally, I enjoyed the full bit, like being very real. I, I really did enjoy this. It was a good time. I just knew in my heart of hearts that Plasma is not going to stay. And if she does, she won't, she will not have won the lip sync. And they're going to look at her track record. It's, that was my initial thought. Like, okay, Maya wore her out. Wore her low. But if they're doing like they've been doing before with Drag Race, they're going to go, okay, track record is important. It's our first time having a lip sync. I think the fans are going to like her. Let's keep her. Is what my mind went to. Even though I knew Maya beat her. But I'm so used to that being the equation of, it's her first time at the bottom and she's had multiple wins. They're not going to send her home. That didn't happen. What happened was something that caused the caucus, the caucus, one more, the caucus. Yes, you're welcome. I know that was a funny read. The caucus group over here, shocked, playing not so much. <laughs> Don and Q are gagged, cock gagged, okay? Very that. All right. <laughs> Q says she doesn't have a gag reflex. You're a lie, girl. Look at you. No, I'm just playing. Sometimes you have to do it for show to let the people know that you're not a whore. But listen, you spelled that wrong, Bell Chan. C O C, finish the rest. Okay. Plain was happy that Plasma was gone. She was like, I ain't got to look at that face no more. <laughs> Woo! She said, and that's one less in the room. Uh, honey, let me be very clear. I get why people are mad. They're like, oh my God, she had such a good track record. I think it's bullshit. Maya was clearly the worst. I think some of y'all are making these opinions because you do not like Maya. That's fine. You all can feel that way if you want to. If we're going to base this off the lip sync, and not track record where it's a lip sync for your life. Do not end up in the bottom because you have to lip sync to stay. Demolished her. Beat her ass. Whooped. 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 In a gown. Doing stunt work. To an up tempo. Come on now. It was right with God. I will also say in the same breath that Plasma, if they don't pull you back into this show, if they don't bring you back in for another season of something where we get to see you shine again, a complete missed opportunity. Plasma gained a lot of fans this season. A, a young queen with an old school style to themselves who's very confident and gives me one of those theater kids, but a theater kid we fucking like, okay? Not Leah Michelle. The opposite of Leah Michelle. Whoever in theater we enjoy a lot. Plasma did the thing. You know what I'm saying? And so I want to see her again. I hate that she got put in this position. I feel like if Plasma went against anybody else except for Safira and Maya and Nymphia, maybe would have had a better chance of staying. I don't know. I don't know. I just, 
Plasma is a good queen. And I think that we should send her some love, but I also ask that you do not disrespect the others in the process of her being eliminated because she did lose fair and square, in my opinion. Uh, Daniel, my problem with Maya's lip sync is when she did stunts, she stopped lip syncing. Otherwise she ate. If I could tell you, Daniel, I disagree with that statement. And there are other times too, where Queens do the same thing. So if we say that now, say that for all of them. Uh, but I didn't see that. So I appreciate the super chat. Belchan, thank you for the super chat. And people keep discrediting Maya's win because it's a group win. I mean, Copper Top got to go home with a win and only was there for about three, four episodes, okay? But you got to go home with something. Not money, but you got to go home with something. I mean, now they're going home with money on UK, but not then. They can still say that's a W. It's a W. Maya has a W. I know it sucks to hear, but Nymphia also got a W in that same group. Nymphia would not have two wins. Yes, if it wasn't for the group. So if you're going to count Nymphia's two wins, you're going to need to count Maya's win. You see how that works? That you can't you can't take that away from one person but give it to another. Strange fruit. From the poplar tree, I did it right this time. Breathe. I still say poppy. It seems it sounds better. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Huh? Yeah, just Dawn and Morphine are left with no wins. Everybody there got a win except for Dawn and Morphine. Either way, thank you for the super chat. Thank you all for being here today. Sid Sosa, loved your reaction on Patreon because felt. <laughs> Love you. Love you too, baby girl. Thank you so very much. Come on, face. Come on, muggy wug. Thank you, Sid Sosa. Uh, Drewski, uh, Plasma can read too. Also opposite of Leah. She will, yeah, we, we like Plasma. We like Plasmanda. Oh, I'm gonna miss her. Plas. Plas. I don't know. We got a lot of Plasma though. Plasma did a lot of confessionals. Was this a Carol Burnett nod? Please tell me I was right when this happened. Because I know Carol Burnett at the end of the Carol Burnett show used to do this. So it was like her hello to her mom. So was that what that was for? Please tell me that was a Carol Burnett reference because that makes me like Plasma even more. Oh my God. Once she did it, I was like, ah! that was me. I was like, ah! <laughs> for those of us who like some of the old stuff, you know, I'm a guy who watched Mama's Family. So, you know, I like 70s and 60s TV. So I thought that was hot. I was like, oh. I got excited because she gave that little Carol nod. I was like, that's cute. Um, I think yeah, it was her grandmother. Yeah, I think it was for her grandmother. I forgot it was her mom or her grandma, but I thought I was an avid watcher of the Carol Burnett show because I love sketch comedy. Um, and I just, every you can go watch. Every time at the end of it, it's like, mm -hmm. it's a little tug. It's so cute. No, Carol Burnett is hilarious. She's a comedy genius, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. Shout out to Plasma. I mean, you look a mess, but um, it is what it is. I, I was here for it. Maddie Rance Roscoe's Plasma called herself annoying because how editing played out. I mean, you 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 give them something, they gonna run a mile with it. That's production. Untucked really didn't do anything for me outside of there being this moment like this kind of like Dawn kind of letting Plane have it and Plane having to receive it. Cause she's like, I mean, look at Dawn compared to me did this week. I, I'm not going to knock her for having that opinion of me. Also when Safira said she was in the top and Plane gave like an eye roll and I love, ooh, when I tell you that room, Plasma, when I tell you Plasma and Q, uh-uh. They said, girl, what was that about? What was that about? Say your piece. You was so, you said, what about, Safira said she was high, but you don't feel that way, what's up? I Dawn is a shitster. <laughs> yeah. And I love it, Dawn. I love it. Wait, what was that face for? Tell your tea. Tell your tea. Tell your tea. Tell a girl. <laughs> Wait, girl. Where were you saying? Girl, where were you? <laughs> Come on, Dawn. <laughs> that was funny. And uh, listen, plain, you would have gave a lot harder of an answer if it had been someone else. You gave a soft pitch to Safira, a very soft pitch she was like well 
I mean, they did say this is about your uh, superiority. Yes, the judges said that. So it's high. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's let's go ahead and wrap this up today. Uh, a good episode, in my opinion. I am mad that Plasma's gone, but I do feel that she lost the lip sync. I will also say in the same breath that the category was up to more interpretation in my field versus golf, <laughs> but we got some incredible looks for a design challenge. I really want them to do more design challenges, like having three in a season. That sounds like a perfect number for me, like a base perfect number. So not mad about that. I like the creativity from Queens, I like uh, them to showcase uh, their work this kind of way. So for me, I love this kind of stuff. Next week, they're doing an original song. An original song called Power. And they're going to write their own lyrics and they have to then dance and create their own choreography around, around it, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you this right now. Choreography, singing live or doing something there. Now, I, get, I don't think Maya's going to be in the bottom this upcoming week just off of that alone because they won a challenge when that was actually required of them. So for my babies who are like, well, she'll be gone next week, I would really think about that. I don't think that's going to be for her, girl. I think you need to be concerned with other folks. I can't wait to see Jamal Sims again. My husband in my head. <laughs> Every time I see him, I'm like, oh, I'm just at the house, taking care of home, waiting for him to come back. He's on RuPaul's Drag Race working right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. But yes, um, I don't know. I'm, I would be concerned. Now listen, the immunity potion is still in play. They haven't used it yet. And next week is the last day, day, the last time they can use it. I'm going to give you three predictions. Three predictions. One. One prediction is the potion will be used. I don't know. Because they told Jane she can use it on herself. I don't know if she will. She can, but I also will be upset if she doesn't use it on herself or she wasn't in a position to where she could have been in the bottom. Because if we're being fair, Nymphia, if she had won that first episode that she was on there with plain Jane, there have been moments on this show where she would have had to have used that immunity potion and that gimmick would have been, would have worked. Just saying, plain hasn't had to use it yet. There's been no reason. So I feel like she'll be using it on someone else unless she wants someone to go home. And most of the people that she doesn't like have gone home. So there you go. Number two, I think... I think that people who we thought, no, no, no. My prediction is I'm not going to like the song, but if the beat is right, I'll be happy. But I'm just going to predict I'm not going to like the song. Because <laughs> if it's anything like Simone, Candy, Got Mix Season with that, my baby, my baby, my baby, come, I'm not going to like it. I'm going to hate it. If it sounds like anything Megan Trainer is making currently now and has made for the past umpteenth years, I'm not going to like it. I'm really going to hate it. That soda shop uh, for colors only bathroom tease music. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Not for me. No. Um. Mm. My last prediction. I don't know. Okay. Let's say the immunity potion is used and it ends up being used in a way to where somebody would have gotten people to be in the bottom. And what if it's like used and they're like, okay, we're not going to send anyone home today. It's like, what? Okay. I'm going to feel weird about that a little bit, but everyone has to do good. <laughs> I think that's I think that's where I'm at with this. Everyone needs to do good. And it's been a while since no one's gone home. And I kind of want to see that happen. But I also know, allegedly, there's a lot of Perusa this season. So I'm wondering how that's going to work with 
us already going into episode 10 and there's seven people there. That's the rumor. There's a lot of perusal. I'm like, mm. I feel like that's going to be a bit different if that's the case. And that's where my mind is at with the Lala Peru. I'm like, mm, I don't know if this is going to be the same way they've been doing it before. Because that's the rumor. And if that's the case, uh, this might be weird. It may be a, du no, I could, a double save at the Lala Peru makes sense. There's no candy bar involved. That's one thing. Two, if no one goes home, if the muni potion is being done, what does that leave the rest for the competition? Three, if they do the Lollapalooza, I feel like they should do it like the All-Stars where it was, what was it, six? Ooh, but then we might have another situation where someone did really well and then right at the end, they let the other girl come back and then we have to deal with that all season. If it's a returning, like the girls get a chance to like lip sync back into the competition, I'd be here for that. I'd also be here for it because guess what? Let's say, oh, 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 oh my God. Okay, prediction time. Prediction time. Okay, okay, okay. This is just, this is all speculation. What if Maya never gets eliminated to a certain point in the competition and then there's a Lala Perusa, so there's no way that they could lip sync their way back into the competition. They would never get the opportunity to compete in that form. And so if they had all the people that went home then compete to come back in, that would be gaggy. That would be gaggy. That would be gaggy because, again, she had all these lip syncs she won, but she can't, they can't eliminate her to then get brought back into a situation where she would be the best at and beat everybody just to come back. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I need that to happen. I, I, need, I need Rudy to do well. I need the girls who we all miss to come back. Oh, that would be a cack. I hope that is, I, I need that to happen. <laughs> that would be TV. That would be TV. Cause we, one, I want to see Mirage again. I want to see Amanda again. I'm going to say Plasma now. Shit. <laughs> like we can go down this line. Like, okay, well, there is a lot of folks that'd be nice to see again. Who were like, oh, they went home so soon. Hmm. I'd be here for that. A Mirage and Maya lip sync. We've prayed for those days. Those two I would love to see battle. Hershey too. Yeah, I'd be here for that. But if they don't do it that way, and it becomes like a like what we saw for Canada's drag race with that lip sync for like just the top spot or whatever. And then what if the person who wins gets to choose to go home? What if they pull an all-stars rule moment? <gasps> oh, oh, what? Oh, oh. Okay, last speculation before I wrap this. What if, holy shit. Okay, what if they had the people who were still there competing to win and then they get to decide from who was eliminated gets to come back? Ah! <sighs> I have given three scenarios that would be kind of, kind of gaggy. Kind of gaggy. Kind of gaggy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I feel this season has a few more episodes to go. This was episode nine. We're going to episode 10. If I were to predict how many episodes we have this season, how many people are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We lost one, seven. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's say no one goes home. <laughs> Remember thinking 16? I feel like either 16 or even a little bit more only because it depends on if no one goes home. That has to be it. If no one goes home, that gives us an extra episode. Unless they do a two-way Two of y'all got to leave, like they did Deja in uh, Georgia's, right? I'm pulling all my um, notes together right now. <laughs> they could do that, or if they keep it, and then if someone returns back in the competition, that's like another number on top of it again. 
to where we would still keep going. Like, like, bitch, dare we get to top four, and then you tell me, oh, no, we're going to be hot. Oh, I would be so mad. We made it to the finals. Hold up. Wait a minute. Someone's coming back into the competition. Oh, bitch, we'd be fighting. I hate that. I'm going to be real with you. I do I do not like that. Don't get me to the, the semifinals. We sent some girl home. It's now time to go. To the, ah, pause. We're still in the semifinals. Huh? <laughs> Everybody went home. Well, we're bringing someone back. For why? <laughs> so they have an opportunity to take my spot? What in the Kelly Roller is going on? Oh my God, what in the Kelly Roller is going on? That wasn't the reason why I hated, yep, that, there was another reason why I hated that season. <laughs> like, that lady had, like, not the best drag. Didn't deserve to get the hate she got, but, like, definitely was giving grown man on the stage. No, baby. Mm -mm. Yep. Like, season four, that was weird. It was like, oh, okay, we brought her back to do what? She said, I'm in the workroom. Went right back out. I hate when they do that. I hope they don't do that. If they bring someone back, I would hope they make top four. I'm just going to say that. Doesn't be my last point before I wrap this up. If they bring them back, they need to make top four. Cole, when Kelly, girl, I couldn't believe it. That was one of my least favorite Espana experiences. It made not a lick of sense. Not a lick. I remember everyone not being happy with me because I was like, I'm getting tired of the roller skates on the runway. <laughs> They're like, that's not cool, Matt. It's part of her drag. But I was like, yo, like as much as that's a part of her drag, like they're judging the other girls on heels and she's got on roller skates. They're not judging this the same. Like this looks a fool because the stocking's over the skate and it's ripped, but we can't talk about that. But you can talk about the other girl not wearing high enough heels, please. I, I, I just couldn't do it. It was getting annoying. Then time of season. And then some of the critiques on Espana will be like, for one queen, we know who you are outside the show. It's so amazing. And da-da-da-da-da. And to see all this growth here. Meanwhile, I don't know who you are as a queen. I look at your outfits and you tell us a story and it's really vivid. But like, I look at you here on the stage now in front of me and I just don't get it. And I'm really talking about the hobbies. <laughs> like uh, some of the worst critiques. If they don't like you, you're not going to win that show. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Okay. Let's wrap this up today. We had 400 plus in the room. At this point in time, I have been rambling on. I was like, I'm finishing this video in two hours. Then I just started talking. And then that didn't happen. If you see Enrica in the live chat, give them some love. Give them some love because they have been amazing with being one of my moderators, uh, as well as doing the timestamps on their time, which we most certainly appreciate. So if you want to get to the nitty gritty of it all, check out the timestamps in the comment section. They will be pinned whenever they arrive. If I made you mad or sad today, that was not my intention, and I'd see a therapist. But if I made you happy today, then we're on the right team. You're on the right team. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Become part of this Rant Pack family. And I really want to thank you for tuning in. And if you want to drop me a little bit of love in my jar, because it does go a long, long way, it is paypal.me for slash my rants, catch up with all Simon rants, Venmo Manadash rants. I'm officially 32 days away from my vacation. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I've been crying about it. Thank you, God. So all tips are really appreciated. But also, of course, uh, a little extra love to my babies out there in the world. Mina popped up today, my little lovey bub. Actually, both, Ma oh my God, Mamu and Mina were on camera today. So you saw my kids, you know they're taking care. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in. I love you down. I'm about to get my Tekken on for the rest of the evening. Uh, if I see you in the streets online and you want to fight me, just let me know. I'll be playing most of the night. Um, probably try to find a movie too. I think I'm going to try to watch uh, Aquaman, but I don't want to. But I'm going to try to watch it. Ew. Anywho. Love you down. Take care of yourselves. Give yourself a big hug from me. It's your boy, Matty Rants. I will see you tomorrow for the panel. Thank you for all the super chats. Thank you for all the tippy poos. And thank you so much for being a part of this live discussion today. Until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Listen. <laughs>